touch you the candy. sit here and do a quick plug or not really quick but discuss what we're going to be doing on Halloween next I could talk about the system not like the adventure or the people you know what I mean it's a horror game based between tunnels and trolls and chill Old gamers will know the different. Will know, and like uh, talk about like what you could do sometime in the system. Cause no one knows yet what you're gonna be doing. Well, I have many, 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 many possibilities. You'll be running this one, and then I'll be playing the player. I'll be sitting where you sit. Yeah, I know that, Devin. I don't. Tables will be turning. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, you gotta turn the whole damn table. Yes. Oh no! <laughs> but I get the big comfy chair over there. You said table. You didn't say chairs. Yeah, I get the big comfy chair. <laughs> it's all you're after, isn't it? Well, it's my chair. I hey, know. you can talk to us. Like you can talk to us. <laughs> Anyways, as you guys know, yes, you rolled characters. No, you can't talk about them to anyone. I've forgotten all about mine. Not even Guido. 
This is gonna be a Halloween horror style. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm not telling you guys what you're going up against. Or what we're doing. Exactly. You guys will have to find out mm -hmm. on Halloween. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have candy for you guys. No, you can't have any yet. <laughs> Although I have some right here. Let's see, I have... One I'm person to torture. Two people to torture. He's an NPC. Three people to torture. Four people to torture. A lot of people will probably die Five in the game. people to torture. You don't get some green bag people during the game. Yeah. You just what? sit back and watch. Once you die, you're out of the game for the night. Now, the next holiday game... You'll be able to play your character again. If they're alive. Yeah. If I allow them to live. Or sane enough to get out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You can lose bravery and your character can go insane, although live. Mm -hmm. Fear causes damage. Yep. Same with stupidity causes damage, too. Don't you wish that was true? <laughs> I mean, they can't be like, we're not dying. <laughs> well, you're not Cockiness causes damage, too. You piss off the DM, the DM gets uh, revenge. A car could cause damage. Oh, that's normal. <laughs> yep. I could throw anything and everything I want at you guys. And you will say, thank you, sir. May I have another? Exactly. I'm working there, Guido. I'm trying well, to get there. It's all up to you guys. Know what you want to do? Well, I want to piss off the DM, which is me. I cannot do. <laughs> and have me throw something very nasty at you. Oop. A baby. Or if you want to be the, or if you want the DM to be on your. Uh, uh, on your uh, friend's side. You bring candy? <laughs> bring bribery. Bribery. Is I, I accept candy, diet, drinks, anything low carb. I'll be good. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll make some cookies. <laughs> <laughs> They're already starting to bribe me. I can beat you <laughs> all. I can beat all your briberies. You I can give love poetry. <laughs> and then Hello, the rest of you Amber. Beat you down. Come on, Guido. Hi, Amber. Kitty, kitty gets time for break before we start, or should Maybe we kill I'll talk to my grandma about getting another pound of chocolate. Just a short time, Guido. Come on. By the way, the first one dies in the game gets made fun of. That's all there is to it. Let's see. And this time, well, you, you have an idea where the thing is. You just got to wait to be able to be go into f Paris. And, uh, not get shut down. What you need to build? We're just waiting for Guido. No, I have a challenge for you. If you could keep a straight face. On there? And outlast me on it. Without spitting it out. That means you have to put it in your mouth. Same time I do. He'll get a special surprise. One, two.
wanted to make things. That's okay. That's good. Are they really that sour? Oh, God. You're going to waste it. Nope, I'm going to eat it later. Eat a little bit at a time. I love warheads. No, these things are... I do. I can eat them, and I suck on them. Yeah. What's worse on these ones? Uh, oh, yeah, the heart can be more sourness dripping into my mouth. Oh, yes. I mean... Those are the best. And he said you like sour. You like sour. Sometimes that one. Uh, that was just a sudden, out of nowhere, sudden bite. I wasn't expecting it that sour. Yeah. Yeah. Which way to dunk them? No, they're the Halloween themed. Oh, or you put the front door. door. Yeah. Well, uh, are we done being a Oreo commercial? <laughs> you know, a little bit of work, we could take sponsors. Vape companies, things like that. <laughs> I could be bribed. A little bit. Bill couldn't he couldn't take the uh, warhead. He only lasted a little bit. Some people don't. My my children, when they're babies, we like to put them in their mouths. And they'd spit them out and leave them on their lips for a second and then suck them back in. Same be babies. <laughs> back and forth. Why were we feeding our children sour warheads? Because their faces were funny. Yes! <laughs> and because they wanted that. them. When my nephew gets teeth, I could do that. Hi, Kenny. To see what he, how he reacts. All right, Kenny Guinos. We'll be out in two hours. So, as we left last time, you found out where that the statue of the zoo is someplace in the Paris catacombs. Um, so you've contact their con uh, General Sam is contacting um, Peggy Carter and some of the Howling Commandos who know those areas, and they got to set up a place and a time for you to. Oh, hopefully you're hoping to bring in your plane, because you know otherwise you got to wait on their schedule. But you know you still got to get in safe, like when they're mm -hmm. striking somewhere else. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when you guys were contacted by the gentleman that you were working with um, that came down to the house back when uh, Anna, or no, this is the, the, the one back when the Dracula situation, um, he said that he has someone locally who was asking for assistance they think you guys could help with, and uh, you got the letter. <laughs> and a raccoon ran through the room. No. <laughs> and uh, they sent you guys, um, well, some of you, you're not of age. Police uh, or uh, Scotland Yard identifications for use while you're in England to help matters a little bit. 
Because you'll be answering to some guy that works for the police, with the police, he's inspector. Down in the uh, town below you guys, there's Moorcrest Manor, then there's actually the Moorcrest land and a town called Moorcrest, which is down the hill from the manor. And right at the edge of that is one thing called the Moorcrest Estate House, which actually used to be where everyone ran everything for the place. All like people that were not the owners, and the owners lived up in the manor. So you kind of everything here is kind of more Chris. I understand we get confusing. I'll try to keep it straight, but I'll probably fail. Now uh, we'll start with uh, someone knocks on the door. Who wants to everyone roll die ten? Highest is the closest one. to it. Five. Skinny? That's a nine. Um, what? You got a ten? Yeah. Okay. Uh, first, uh, are, have we all healed up from our last one? Yeah. I'll let you do that. Especially your grandpa, right? I'm all healed. Mm -hmm. It's just a nap. Okay. <laughs> Knock the door. Heels up. Is everyone all right and strong and healed before I answer the door? <laughs> Could yeah. be a scary door. No, wait, I don't know. You're wait. the one that's up front of the door. Yeah, you're answering. Mm -hmm. So, you gotta ask us if we're all healed. Are you all healed up yet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm yep. sleeping. Okay. <coughs> what about you, sis? I'm good. Yep. They knock on the door again. Yeah, we're all healed up as they open the door. Okay. It's a uh, guy who looks kind of like a bellhop. One of those little hats. Mm -hmm. He's standing there and hands you an envelope. Excuse me. And puts out his hand. For a coin. Uh, for a tip. A tip. Put yeah. your in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> to give him, I give him a. Uh, I don't know what angle I'm on there. Give him a pound. In the face! <laughs> I give him some change. Both change sets. Just random. I'll do a baby sets. <laughs> it's just uh, two or one? Two! two. Dice. Percentage or two dice? Two dice in. One for the first 85. place, one for the second place. 85? <gasps> oh, he's happy. <coughs> he nods and heads off. You look at it? Yep. It's from the inspector's office of the police department. Um, signed, or it's, it's from Banks, Inspector Banks. What do you do? Wake everybody up. To go and see. Um, Everybody's not sleeping. Okay. Just wake naked. up Rampage. Gonna get a punch to the face. Who says I'm gonna go on my clothes? They got a 20 foot stick. Right. Tick, 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 tick. And you're tick, like, tick, that better tick, be tick. a stick at me. Rampage! 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 Not it! Tip, 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 What? We got paperwork from. Jimmy. Okay. Want to read it? Yeah. Gentlemen. I look forward to our meeting. Take a taxi and come to 2700 Nelson Street. Go through the front door and proceed directly downstairs while I'll be waiting. Be there at 5 p.m. Please don't be late. It may cost me my head. What time is it? Um, roll die 12. You don't have one, I have one. You have one? Yeah. Okay. Twelve. So it's noon. Yeah, it's probably gonna be an hour to get down there and everything. Well, let's make our way down there. You guys want to just pick up and head down? Wait. Shower first. Okay. You're finding Shadow is the only one that stays in the house most of the time. The other two, Manfred and Fritz, they head back out to the pen most of the time. 
at night, but shadow kind of stays around inside. The blind one stays I around in the house. My friend who Luna kicked. Oh, I thought it was a bad dog. Oh, it was oh, a dog. Oh, How would I know? That's such a racist comment. Bad dog. <laughs> How would I know that it wasn't the She evil insulted one. you too. Basically, insulting <laughs> all of you and me and <laughs> finish that sentence. I dare you. Finish I that sentence. Anything. I dare you. I said she insulted her and me because I can. <laughs> I can't do that. You can't do it, can you? She <laughs> technically she insulted all of us, me, you, and Ra. <laughs> what were you gonna say? Marcus scared a rampage. <laughs> what were you gonna say? Marcus scared a rampage. Okay, how are you guys getting down there? <laughs> Is there a car around? Oh, uh, they can. Have one, you can call and have one come and get you. We'll do that. Okay. Cab shows up. Um, takes about 18 minutes. So you think Rampage, Rampage is a fucking dog, huh? So, you still got there on time. Oh, it is getting late because <laughs> having to move slow, because although it's starting to get darker earlier, the uh, they are still not allowed to use their headlights that night. Well, we gotta get there before five. Oh yes, they'll get you in the time. You should have maybe have like half an hour to move beforehand. Um. Finally, you get there. <laughs> it is getting dark. Um. However, very few cars traveling, but this is wartime, so ride to the mortuary takes about an hour and a half. Still get there in time. You're good. Upon arriving. You see two signs hanging on a brick building. Um, first, I guess who's first. first one out of the car? <laughs> Me. Roll die six. Or die ten. Four. Okay. Just checking for a counter. Arf, arf. <laughs> He's making barking sense at you. Arf, arf. The two signs, the first one reads County Corner. The other says Closed. Well, no longer we need to go to. Hmm? Well, that's where he said. This is the address. Everyone make an interesting check. No problem for me. 86. <laughs> 88. Oh, fuck you guys! 53. It's too tall for her to read. <laughs> I read the bottom line! Okay! No, you're all fine. You only need a green leveling in it. I was like, oh, fuck you guys! <laughs> okay! It's the right address. And you should be on time. Arf, arf! Makes more doggy sounds. <laughs> that will solve all your problems. I'm gonna bite this. You can bite this. Because you're fucking attitude right now. <laughs> doggy in the ear. Unless he's having a dog day. Maybe. Hold on, I got a pee. Can I lift my leg on you? Well, you don't really need to. You can pee just directly into his chest. You are rather taller than him. Hold on, stand still. I like fire hydrant. I gotta pee. <laughs> you can't help but stare at it. It's the size of your arm. <laughs> it's an adult with a fist at the end. <laughs> it is so it's the girth of your fucking Coke bottle right there. <laughs> Ow. Okay, what do you guys do? You're standing outside 
well, in the fog and it's starting to rain. We gotta find out where we gotta go. It's, it says that the address is this place. Is it the corner or the close? Both is the same thing. It's the corner! And then it says close. It's after hours. So I guess we knock on the door. Okay. Um, make a strength roll. Since are you the one knocking? Or do you tell someone else to do it? Roof, roof, Raggy, knock on the door. Roof, roof. <laughs> you would start looking 17. like Scooby-Doo. That would be just fucking with people. <laughs> then years later, he'd sue him for copyright. Probably. It was my idea, obviously. I was running around World War II as a dog. I can kind of talk. 17. <laughs> 17? On your 17 or 17? 17. No, I believe you should have failed. Yeah, it does. But you knock on the door. That's kind of quiet, though. It's a pretty hefty door. Arf, arf. Nothing happens. Can I see your knife? What's next? No one came to the door yet. But you think it might have been a little quiet. Knock. 88. Okay. You knock so hard the door opened. It wasn't locked. We go in. Okay. And yes, I'm planning on Everyone make a reason check as you enter into kind of what feels like a medical facility, which you would expect. What's your reason? Because I feel like it. Looks like the Morecrest actually used to take care of stuff. There's some new equipment in this little, little town. What? What'd you get everyone else get? I just need no yellow, red, or green. Or red. you just tell me what you roll and what's your score. Green. 80. 80. And your reason is? Reason. You want good. to go. No. Yellow. Hey, green. No. Okay? Nope. Well, cover your ears and go la la la. No, I'm just kidding. Basically, look around. How, you're just kind of like looking like you're like reading the pamphlet on the wall or something. Looking at the posters. It's a sterile hallway confronts the characters at this, as you enter. Office doors blind both sides of the hall. Each with a large opaque window. All the office doors are locked. And the offices contain nothing of interest to the PCs. But, looking in... At least you see the place looks like it's active during the daytime hours. It doesn't look like it's closed forever type thing. Keep going. Intuition roll for everyone. As you're heading down the hall. 90. 90. 49. Ah. You got red. Well, first of all, what strike you is the smell of formaldehyde. Pinky. Yep. What's you, Fark? <laughs> At the end of the hall lies a stairway leading down a nearby sign states morgue, and an arrow points down the steps. Keep going? Yep. Anyone else want to look around here or anything, or just keep heading down to the morgue? I'm going to call out. Okay. Um... Do an endurance roll. You got big lungs. Windows break. Ninety-seven. Guy started shooting. He thought a T-Rex came in. <laughs> and intuition roll for everyone as you're looking down the hallway in the dark. Um, I can just apply the one you're using. Goodbye. It's about the same thing. Sixty-seven. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Basically, as long as someone made the roll, and most of you did so. At the foot of the stairs is another office yeah. door. Stenciled on the opaque window okay. is City of Moorcrest Moor. Though so the characters can't see definite shapes through the window, they can tell that no lights are on inside. In such a good role, you realize this door is also unlocked. I open it. Okay. Um, intuition check. She's into a dark room. Everyone. Oh, 
Hunter. It's time. I'm just kidding. Well, I got 100. I got 21. Are you just setting everyone's, like, like you said cycles for, for people in periods, you know? Did you roll? No. I didn't make it. Why? You just don't want to take the chance and line up, too? She didn't make it. Okay. Oh! She's just still in the other room. By the way, reading the, wait, I'm reading the poster. By the way, Miss America says, hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. We'll see you when you can make it. Don't worry. Maybe if you want, we'll get you even easier during the beginning of the next group. Because this will not be forever. It seems like it. You'll be tired of these characters by the time we're done. Me with Rampage? Never. Yeah. you live. You do it? No. Okay. What'd you all roll? I Green, missed. yellow, red. You missed? You missed? How about you two? Red, red. Red and red. Well, door opens easily. Hold on. The lights are out, but a wall switch is located immediately to your right. Also on your right is a desk with a number of papers scattered all over the top. What do you do? Look for them. Okay. Uh, the top tier is labeled in. The bottom tier reads, nobody ever leaves here. The wall opposite the your, where you guys come in contains several rows of large drawers. Obviously, for storing bodies. Intuition checks. Hunter. Good. 72. 75. 25. You guys hear movement in one of the drawers. I open it. Just walk over there and open it? Yep. Um, there's someone in there. Oh! Hello! Hi, you're a large one. You're with Squat Scotland Yard? Yes. See your ID? I shall. As you're being questioned by the guy laying in the why drawer. Are you, why are you laying in the drawer? Sometimes you want to just check it out and just see. Well, I wasn't sure what was going to go on with you. Uh, you know, I don't, I've not worked with uh, Scotland Yard types much before, but I asked for help, and he said suddenly you know, that you guys were in the area and actually were kind of experts in this. So, um... I, yeah, I don't know much about you Scotland Yard chaps, all of your top secret investigations and whatnot. So I decided to play it safe and hide. Didn't want anybody to see activity after hours, you know. Um, well, I'm with the business on hand. May I introduce, and he opens the uh, drawer next to him, Lawrence Pinkerton, the latest corpse. He rolls out a second tray. And everyone, uh, fortunately for everyone, but the deceased, the body in this lab does not sit up. He looks at you guys, and he kind of like looks at the bag and the body. Did you have anyone that wanted to look at it? I'll look at it. Okay. Walk up and do an intuition roll. See if you can smell or notice something. 99. Which is a red, I take it? On a monstrous, yes. Okay. The me. victim died of severe throat wounds that opened the jugular vein, causing the victim to bleed to death. The exam also learns that the bite was caused by some sort of dog. You also Mystic! The canine bite appears to have originated from an animal much Scare larger one. than your average dog, though. We may have... We had another situation similar to this recently. Up on top of the hill. Same place I sent the message. So I guess that would maybe... Well, that's where we're from. Yeah. Anna from mm -hmm. up there. She died. Uh, some animal ripped out her throat. Does this look kind of like that? Nope. Yeah, yeah. 
Not completely. Yours wasn't uh, such a large animal, but... Um, I just, and then he like, rolls out like uh, three more bodies. You could have handed it to Lynette and she gets one in the big brush here. Um, and they all seem to have the same damage. <coughs> the only connecting thing I have is all these were found in different places around the estate house, the Barker's estate house. And where we started. No, you're from North Coast Manor. The estate house was like ran by the butlers and everyone down below, and the gardener and their stables there and stuff like that. It's the worker's house, not the vacation house. Or it's also, the Lord used to go there so that if the peasants had to talk to him, they didn't have to come to his house. You know, they might make a mess. So, um, all of them seem to have the same damage. And, uh, the gentleman I believe living there, I'm still trying to get some information, is uh, recently immigrated from Germany. So, you know. Um, so, I just wanted you to get a chance to look at this and see what it was. See if it looked like something you'd seen before. I'm trying to point out, I guess that it's actually more savage. This is. Huh. Well, I might go over there. Um, I'm working on a search warrant. Um, the government granted him the house during the war, so I gotta find out what's going on with that. So, a question, why'd you say you might lose your head over this? Well, look at these people. Their heads have all been bit off. It's a bit of dark humor, I'm sorry. And, like I said, I wasn't sure, you know, I wanted it to sound pressing and important, and, you know, I'm just a local inspector of your uh, scuffy yard. So. We could stay here and protect you while you're figuring things out. Actually, um, I have a few things I'm going to take care of back at the office. Um, and then basically, I was going to try to stay out of it as much as possible. Alrighty. <coughs> so, uh... <coughs> I'll uh, see you later. Pulls the door shut. Opens a little bit. I don't know if, if I want to be seen with you guys, so I'll wait till you leave and then I'll go. <laughs> Closes it again. Thanks. <laughs> we are kind of an interesting crew. <coughs> no. They don't have locks on. So he's an inspector, right? Yes. As we leave the building. Alright, inspector, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> hey, there's no coffee made. No, there isn't. We can maybe deal with that in a little bit. Okay. As you're standing there, a, a, a taxi. <laughs> Are you afraid of taxis? Psst. Over here. I'm one of the last cars for the night. We had a report that you know, someone was dropped off here and they were, you know, some more. You're not going to stay all night, are you? Nope. Okay. I know these streets real well. Um, intuition check. 91. Okay. The guy you're talking to, um, just kind of is on. It stands out because you're in England, and he's Arab. Holding on everything, but and he said he knows the roads real good, and he just kind of looks. You're like not too far from, like you know, uh, the Gaelic areas, so almost Scottish. 
sake of. Come on, hurry up. Get it. Everyone gets in? Yeah. Oh, sit up. Kind of I'm just over. I need to get one once. No, I know the one you need to drive. Go in the garage. She has the outdoor, but no. No, that was at the other place. Go and get it. <laughs> I need it! <laughs> Grand Theft Auto in her head in his head. Okay, driver pulls away from the curb. And everyone make an intuition check. How do you feel about it? 90! 55. You're on it. What? No. I see, I keep bumping it. As long as you got a green, we're good. Driver pulls away from the curb and you begin to speed towards your place. He is dark, complete, um, com dark complected. I thought it was completed. <laughs> Wearing a neatly trimmed beard. I assume it's his. Wearing a neatly trimmed beard. Perhaps he is Muslim or Hindu. A weathered license posted on the dash because he, he is a, probably a Muslim, but he could also be. Well, no, Hindu is religious. Uh, excuse me. A weathered license posted on the dash identifies the driver as Abdul Jamar Mohammed. I shall name you Mo. I shall call you Mo. Ah, yeah, he kind of looks like a dark Mo. Um, his picture's outdated, but man doesn't speak a word as you're driving. Um, continue to go on. Everyone do an intuition check as you're driving by, look around outside. 97. Uh, I didn't make it. 42. You notice he's wearing a, a strange little like pendant. Looks almost like a, almost like one of those like ones that have saints or something like that. Little medals wearing it around his neck. Um, made of silver. Kind of stands out because you're sitting up front, right next to him. Squeezed in, hand in his lap. Okay, um, he looks over at you. You people are on the wrong course, I think. What you want is an intelligence man named Banks. Where can we find Banks? He knows the Nazi spy is behind all this. I thought that was Banks we were talking to, but we're going to play 10 it was. Okay. He doesn't realize you're talking to the same guy. Remember, he was hiding inside the place. This spy has a secret weapon. Animals trained to kill. It's my theory. Please, he pulls up and gets like a block from your house. Like basically the other driveway. And tells you all to get out. It's a gentle rain outside. Please get out here. I'll park the taxi and see you in your inside in a, about an hour. I'll knock twice. I'm bringing with me some important maps and plans. Out now. We should not be seen together. Guess nobody wants to be seen with us. I think they're all scared of us. You notice, and they're all getting out, and you rolled so well. No red. Um, that the pendant on the opposite side says MI6. Ah! I like CIA. And by the way, how could they be afraid of you? Or you? Or even you? Shoot. Look at me! Everyone does. What's your point? You can't be missed. You three aren't intimidating. I tower over you guys. He could create a, I could a squish dinosaur. you. I could squish you. But the dinosaur. I, <laughs> I just oh the fan. And I could squish you. <laughs> K. 
Okay. So it's not that everybody's intimidated by you. Or you. Or you. I don't know. She's just kind of creepy looking. She were her. Why she can't. Oh, yeah. That's those headless Nazis. <laughs> they don't count. Okay. Everyone goes back into your place. Um, everyone do a psych roll to make sure, like... Look at my body count compared to yours. 91. 77. 7. 53. Odd 7? Yep. Shadow's been digging through your room again. Mm -hmm. Made a mess. Looking for stuff. Good boy, Shadow. <laughs> Looking for all your porn. Probably wonders where that doggy smelled was. <laughs> it's not in the house anymore. What'd you do with it? <laughs> Baby thinks you and the uh, wolf are, or, well, when you're a wolf, are two different animals. <coughs> okay. You guys are all sitting there getting dinner. Um, except for you are cleaning your room. Yeah, what's left of it. Everyone else is doing all right. Can get them ready for dinner. Well, there's a knock at the door. Who wants to answer? It? Your turn. Okay, I'll go answer it. Door opens as you. Well, I take it you open it. Okay, mm -hmm. someone's standing there. They do not look familiar to you. I'm gonna go to fire rampage. Okay. Tall guy, kind of dark hair. Kind of a Frenchish look to him. Um, nicely, nicely trimmed. Bit of a beard, not too much though. Real light. Comes inside. Looks for a place to hang his coat. Looks at you all. Who would I say is the leader of this? Rampage. Team? I'm not even down there. Well, she points upstairs. Well then. <coughs> no, it's good by you and starts heading upstairs. Um Unless you guys want him to see a naked me. You might want to wait a bit, sir. Okay. Rampage is in the shower right now. Where would you like for me to wait? You can wait in the living room. No, you're American. Okay, we got it. Yes, I'll, I'll go do that. He turns around and goes downstairs. What do you assume? It's actually called a sitting room. Oh, thank you. In British, it's the sitting room. Okay. He goes down, <laughs> sits yeah. down, and waits. Do you guys go talk to Rampage first? Is anybody gonna inform me? Yeah, I'll inform him. Okay. Um, um, first. Yeah, what I'll you saw at the door was a rather well-dressed man, perhaps in his mid-forties. Um, he's downstairs waiting to talk to you, I guess. All right, guess I throw my jeans on and I walk down the stairs. Okay. No shirt, no shoes, no nothing. Except okay. my jeans. Excuse me. You go inside and he's uh, looking through some books that were in the wall. Bookshelf, actually, but you know. <laughs> Just hanging on the wall is weird. Ah, excuse me, but perhaps we have some business. Um, I hope we can sit down here and discuss a few... Uh, matters of grave importance to us all. I don't see why not. Okay. Everyone do a perception check or intuition check. 100. 16. 10. 96. Yep. Okay. You two notice this man's wearing the same kind of necklace. Is the guy that was just here. Or they dropped you guys off. He hadn't come in yet. You expecting him any time. You thought it was going to be him. But it was this guy. Um. Bet. 
And then I'll say a psych roll from the two that made the last roll on me. You two. 99. Red. 77. See, because you, you other two don't see a thing odd about this. You both rolled high enough. You get kind of uh, weird vibes off this guy, like, you know, unknown. Um, we must be very quiet, for I'm sure we are being watched and heard, more importantly. You have had a encounter with the very thing you seek, I believe. Have you ever met with this, with an Arab recently? Yeah, on the way home tonight. Kind of like looks around, double checking. I advise you stay in then. For your safety. And for your sake. Um, tomorrow after sundown, Don't bring lanterns, though. Uh, we'll go down to Morecrest Estates. Um, don't bring lanterns, for they'll bring a unique attention to us. The moon will be uh, nearly full, providing ample light. Again, he looks around the room as if worried. He reaches into his jacket pocket and pulls out a cloth pouch and a silver cigarette case. Tomorrow night, you must bring these with you. He hands them over to you. To Morecrest Estates. Believe me, you will need them. Do not open them here. They contain special ammunition against our enemy. Now go quickly, and I'll leave. And make haste and sleep and be ready for tomorrow evening. Actually, no, it's uh, the next day, so it's two days away. Just stay in tonight, he says, because he's a worry about the era turning you guys. Um, and then he gets up and he uh, exits, closes the door behind him. Everyone do an intu intuition check again. It's a weird night. Hunter. <coughs> 31. Oh, one. 14? 13? Okay. I'll put your attic here for you. Me. Except for yours. Scare my poor mind. <laughs> okay. Um, you didn't hear a car leave. What do you do? I'm going to go out and check. Okay. Well, we don't need to roll because there is no car. Unless the guy just ran for the forest. I'm also going to go get the two dogs. Okay, you bring them inside? Yep. Okay. You also have a cigarette or case and some uh, all wrapped up in a, a handkerchief. There, it's in my pocket. Okay. Go get the dog. Make a psych roll to keep control of them so they follow you in. 97. No problem. You tell them to go inside or you kill them. They sneak inside scared. No, just kidding. They come inside. Shadows watching as they They go. like me, they don't like Luna. Ah, true. It's because she kicked. She kicked. Okay, shopping. you come inside with all the dogs. Lock up. Yep. Put down the big old security doors. You can actually drop the shutters, too. What do you do? Now that you're all sitting here, eating cheese and drinking wine. It's a normal night. She's got a lot in the house. She's in one. She can't drink it anymore or eat it. And no one's going grocery shopping. <laughs> no one's supplying the house anymore. So you guys have been eating anything out, everything out of the house. So hopefully they'll move you to a new house soon <laughs> with new food. <laughs> well, you haven't given us, given us a chance. No. No, you haven't had a chance. Um... Maybe you guys can do it in the day between. Okay. What do you else? Is that all you do? Do you want to uh, sneak and look at the stuff? Nope. Nope. Anyone 
anyone else going to try to sneak a look while he's sleeping? No! no. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, it, does have, me. it does have a strong smell about it. Just going to leave. Okay. Put it on the side. Okay. Next morning, everyone's having breakfast. Everyone roll die 10. Five. Seven. Two. Seven. You're walking by the door when someone knocks on it. I don't think I want to answer. <laughs> she runs away. <laughs> <laughs> runs away. I'll answer. Thump, 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 thump. Open it. There's a guy in there, kind of looking at you at the chest, with his little hat on. <coughs> Looks like a well, boy. he's a delivery boy, like the last time, but a different one. Oh, um, this is for you. Okay. Thanks. These. Hey. What? Come back here. Okay. Okay, he, he, he looks happy enough. I wasn't gonna hurt you. <laughs> Are you an ogre? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Giant. Are you Are you Doctor Jackal, Mister Hyde? <laughs> it's a jackal. I tell you, it's a jackal. Are you a giant? Yeah. You get a letter, and it says from Banks. Again, he likes sending le letters from his desk. Want to read it? Yeah. My apologies, friends. I had hoped to meet you in person, but I must proceed to Morcrest Estate before it grows too dark. I'm afraid that you shall be unable to join me with the blackout and all. We can meet tomorrow. I'll expect you at Morcrest Estates by noon. William Banks. And... You do hear off in the distance the air raid alarms here and there. They're expecting a uh, a bombing run or there's a drill. But they've heard stories that they're coming in to bomb. What do you guys do today? It's not raining, but it is kind of foggy all day. Two of us need to go shopping for food. I'll go shopping. No! We can't live off of candies and donuts I and soda. I'll get me and stuff too. Progress. No. Mm. Who's taking the little one in the shop? Who's the adult on this trip? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors! Me. Rock, paper, scissors! Come on. Skip. <laughs> the three of us. Come, Come on. on. Forget for winning? <laughs> I hate winning. <laughs> oh, you your spike. And then tell me what your psych is. Do. And the psych. I'm sorry. I hate winning. <laughs> it's green. <laughs> it's green. She, he breaks all your scissors. We got it. I should have won favor. Always. Then it'd have to be me and her against each other. Uh, he'd be out. He doesn't care. <laughs> have fun. <laughs> well, how are you getting there? No. Oh, a taxi. No, a taxi ain't going nowhere on a blackout. Uh, we're going to have to walk. Okay. Endurance rolls both of you. What's your endurance roll? Good. 82. Uh, that's a yellow. 62. Not a good. 
That's a green. You're green. <laughs> That's like I did that too. That's like I did that. So it's a long I walk. Hmm? But, due to your psych roll, you guys didn't, there wasn't much going on. There wasn't even much out there. Yeah, I think that. I have enough for the Halloween game. Yeah. You guys did pretty good. You got some food. I'll probably Make do some thing to eat for dinner packs. that night. Everybody. And then the big horns start going off. And you're hearing planes overhead. Now you guys gotta walk back. No, they're already back. They're, right. they're all having dinner. They didn't have an encounter. Pretty much it was empty out there. Now at that night, they're flying overhead. Sounds like there's planes coming. So how hard did you have to slap her in the hands with the candy? One through ten? Seven. She let her get away with it. How many times? No, just kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You roll percentage dice for your, your plane parked oh, okay. outside. Oh. Makes a nice target. No. 22. 22? Uh-huh. That's not good. Okay. Missing a dice. Missing a dice. Missing a dice. Missing a dice. I'll just use that one for now. One I can easily read, basically. I'm gonna say blue for dominant. I hate. Not much for me on that. Oh, they missed my line. Yep. Oh, thank goodness. They they Damn. almost they tried to hit it. There's a hole out there in the field where you'll have to like fill in if you want to use the field to take off again later. Keep it show. Um, make Luna do it. So she kicked the dog. <laughs> Everyone's unhappy in the house. Kids keep picking on each other. Okay. And that's the main danger. We'll roll that ten. Three. Six. Ten. You're by the front door when it knocks. Hi, fling it open. Hello. It's uh, William Wilhelm Banks. Hello. Sorry, folks. Um, I came <laughs> to pick you up to bring you into town, or to bring you over to what we need to do today. <laughs> okay. So, I'll be up front waiting for you all. I have some uh, bagels and cream cheese in the vehicle if you need for something sweet. Ooh, I know bagels I may and have. Cream cheese? Yes. <laughs> we need to get one and just put back in the store. It's the next day. Yeah. You, you've got food for more than one day, don't worry. Well, at least until you get to feed Rampage. No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get out there next day and it's empty. Come on, Jim it! Not even. Scraps left. <coughs> she, he ate straight through the cardboard boxes and everything. No packaging. He believes in living green. Eat it all. <laughs> you can handle it. Your gut is just disgusting. Okay. Y'all get in the wagon. The police wagon. Y'all go to jail. Not the paddy wagon! Not again! <laughs> He went with a bigger so you had room to sit. I swear she was of age. <laughs> Everyone looks like a shit. <laughs> Everyone looks like a child next to you. <laughs> What's <laughs> right? <laughs> the road has a roadblock. Possibly it could be a spot they got hit last night or something like that, but you know, there's police out there. Finally, someone makes it up to your guys' car. 
You, first it was a wagon, now it's a car. Now, the, Same thing. No. The vehicle. There. Sorry, folks. Man says, drawing his police badge from his pocket. There's a bit of trouble up ahead. Nobody's allowed to pass through. I pull my Scotland Yard card out and be like, Oh! I gotta go! Oh! Okay. Yeah, come on, I'll, I'll show you. Come on. Motions for you to follow. I get out of the wagon. Okay. You're a big one. I can't Everyone says. Uh, some poor chap was murdered out here in the middle of nowhere. Makes no sense to anyone. His throat seems to be torn out. Yeah. So it, it could be that he bled to death. Sorry about the delay. You can go right through though afterwards. Um, Show me the body. Okay. You know, anyway, I don't know what some bloody Arabs doing out here in the middle of the moorlands, anyways. You know, you know. Never mind, sir. Just a personal thoughts, and he takes you over there. He kind of, you know. Is it Mo? Huh? Is it Mo? Mo. <clears throat> fucking, fucking taxi driver. Well, uh, describes the victim as an Arab carrying no identification. Preliminary examination has ruled the cause of death to be the tearing of the jugular vein. Apparently, the poor soul bled to death. If you also notice, you're not too far from the estate. If you wish to view the body, he can show you. Yeah, let me see it. Okay. <coughs> Your shirt's Abdul. Mohammed. The guy who met you out front. Um, make an intuition check as you look at it. Let's see what bonus information you may get. 94. That's red or yellow? Red. Okay. Um, I'll go through all three levels you got. Character immediately recognize the wounds and scratch marks are identical to those on the corpse in the morgue. The characters also notice that Muhammad's pendant is missing. In addition to the other things, the character learns that no blood is on the scene. So he couldn't have bled to death here. He was brought to the situation after he Okay, and then Bang says, listen, by the time we uh, head to the stakeout, we need to watch this guy. And he's looking at the house from here, big open field. It's like way off in the distance. Let's go. Okay, I've got a spot. Actually, it's the only spot nearby. It used to be an old hunter's cabin. It's the only spot I know that we can keep an eye on him, and uh, we wouldn't be surprised. Uh, you got to be careful on his land, though. Um, I have a man who lost most his foot. He's putting a lot of uh, bear traps and stuff around the property. You know, so. I don't know if he's worried about us coming in or what. I think he's just covering his ass because, you know, he's German. Okay, so says, come on, uh, a company over here to the place, uh, I guess is that the German fellow from the estate is involved. He's not entirely responsible. That is, all of the bodies are turned up at the edge of his property, and nobody else lives around here for miles. We can see him out doing activities late at night, digging things, leaving things around, doing some weird stuff. Maybe burying bodies, as far as we know. Something strange is going on, and I intend to find out fully what it is. You know, I almost got permission, but he <coughs> did mention that the judge gave me some crap that I, he couldn't give me a search warrant because I said all the bodies were found on his property. And then the judge says, well, they're also found closer to a road, though, a major road that was going through there. Well, the property's big enough there are major roads on all four sides. 
So, he's saying it doesn't prove that he had anything to do with it. More people had access to the spot than he had, actually. Mm -hmm. So, guys, I'll pile back in the car. Got more information, another death. Poor Arab. Oh, and you're also supposed to be meeting that other guy sometime today. I didn't give you his name, did I? No. Okay, Arthur John Michael. You remember that because that's actually what the initials AJM on the uh, Sierra case. So what's the German guy's name? Metzer, I think. She would pull up at a distance from the house to the looks like mine. She has a cabin from uh, Evil Dead. Just a cabin out in the middle of nowhere. Ooh. From a distance, the, the house looks deserted. And on Daunted Banks leads the party to the front door and knocks on it with confidence. Oh, and a uh, guy opens the door. He uh, apparently, with his binoculars on, he says, is everything all right? I'll be back, sir, but we're going to go and actually talk to him this time. I was like, okay, another guy that works on the office. He's a police officer. So he's got other officers watching right now. He says, I've got a little time. We're going to find out what he has directly to say about this. And I can always ask him about the body found on his property. I think that sounds reasonable. It would be not doing my job if I didn't ask. And I just bring my Scotland Yard friends and one of their's daughter. <laughs> We're actually cousins with one of them. Actually, the two... My friend here and the little one over there will stay here at the cabin. Okay. The other day you sat up there to yeah. the uh, estate house. <clears throat> Especially since you're staying in the manor. Representing Anna Bolton, which is the last living member of the family at that time. Um after there's a he get you guys go there carefully. As he gets closer, he picks up a uh, A um, piece of carpet, like roll of carpet, from his trunk. Small strip, all rolled up. You'll see why I need this one. Goes over towards the door, and there's a mailed board, a nail sticking upward in front of the doorway. He throws the carpet over the top of it. He says, "Okay." I don't know. Guy seems a little paranoid to me. Knocks on the door. Ah, he's here. All right. He waits for Mixie to hear him. Make an intuition check. Those that are there, the two of you. Are you, uh, you're there. I think, wasn't it those two? What? Yeah. Roll. On what? Intuition. 91. Okay, you're hearing a lot of scuffle on the inside. What'd you roll? I got a 74. You're still good. Your doggy ears kind of perk up. And there's a man inside is speaking German. Until finally, he gets to the door. Who is there? I, please forgive my fake German accent. I'm just a DM, not an interpreter. And I'm trying to read exactly what it says. Who is there? What do you want? I am very busy. Go away. You guys just sit there? Okay. Do you need a break? <laughs> Is my chair noisy? Should I say Scotland Yard? Oh, sure, throw that out there too. If you have the clout, I mean, you might as well use it, he says. Oh! Uh, Scotland Yard, need to talk to you. Oh, okay, um, <coughs> I'll leave right there. Open the door. Peter's a little nervous and looks outside a lot, constantly looking over your shoulders or, in your case, around you as much as he can. You're kind of blocking it. Can you either step inside or move out of the way so I can still see outside? Yeah, we'll come in. Okay. 
<laughs> Sorry about the mess. <clears throat> I have uh, wolf problems on my property. I am Metzer. I am a legal resident alien from Germany. I've had this status for two years since immigrating to England. Um, he looks at you since you showed your badge. Did you have any questions, Trip? Sure. Well, uh, there's a body found on your property today. Um, I know nothing of such things. Nothing. I am fine here. Now, go on it and leave me alone. I assure you, I am no spy. As he looks um, over at uh, Banks. I assure you. I'm also uh, representing the main manor that you're staying in the state ah, house. I see. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm German, but I'm not a stupid pig. I come from Germany to escape. Calm down, buddy. I do not expect to have this problem when I'm with the police in England <laughs> as well. If you would calm down. Okay. But he keeps looking around. I can help you with your wolf Please, problem. please, you, stay, don't step off the porch. On that side is a trap. Just get up on the porch. Okay. You're saying? I can help you with your wolf problem. Why? I'm... I'm, I'm I've been doing all right. It's... I've got... And then you see, make an intuition check, I should say, actually. Hunter. Ah, you easily see that there are about 40 to 50 steel traps pushed up against the walls. And hanging from the walls. And then says, there, nothing, nothing, just old hunting traps I have collected. Now please, leave me in peace. I also see a large keg of salt next to the, uh, the traps. Alrighty. We'll go. Okay. Um, Banks apologizes for his statements. Says I, we didn't fully understand. We just have to ask everyone in every property that we find a body what happened. And this is only the fifth, so I'm sure we could let it slide kind of smirking a little bit. And then uh, apologizes as you guys leave. As you guys head back to the car, he pretty much says, everyone gets in the car. I don't believe Metzger's story for a minute. What a load of fucking bullshit! <coughs> so, we'll be heading back to the house now to keep an eye on it tonight. Maybe we stir the pot a little bit and then we'll know What's it cooking? So. So, I have a question for you. Yeah. If he's the one doing all these killings, can I just crush his fucking little bulbous head? But it is a nut. If it is a nuts. If he's killing, it would have to be to, like, protect something. And if it's a Nazi ring, we need to know who in our neighborhoods are Nazis. He is a scientist making monsters. Or if he's the one doing the killing and he's the creature that's doing it. I just think he has trained dogs somewhere. And some got out and that's why he has the traps out. Kind of like the situation happened in France. But for yeah, a while. you weren't with us. I know. Well, you're back at the car. Nope. Oh, they didn't come at all. You weren't there. You were with her. Oh. It was me and you. Well, we had it backwards then. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh boy. So you're back at the house, or back at the oh. the new house, the one, the little cabin. <laughs> I did what. Um, 
<coughs> is you head back and kind of loop around to a point where the car is back from the house a little bit where it can't be seen from the street. So when you get close to the area, we'll get out of the car before any of the spies can see it. There's a small abandoned building about 250 yards northwest of the house. The building serves as our base, the cabinet. We'll make our way to the abandoned building on foot. Then we can break up into pairs or go individually and circle a property if we wish. We'll return back to the base every hour and check in. Banks pulls out a light out of his cigarettes with one draw and tosses the butt out the car window. One person will stay at the base at all times. I don't know why someone had to add that. Noting who checks in and who's missing. He plops out a clipboard from like underneath the seat on the car. If anyone sees anything even remotely suspicious, he has a tape recorder. Our boss to observe first, then return to the building and report. If action is required, we will all take such action as a team. There's been too many deaths already. You, I still think you probably have your root throat ripped out, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it couldn't reach you. That's why we have you here. With each other's knowledge, everything will be good. Understand? Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait. Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you mm -hmm. understand? Yep. Yeah. Pulls the car off the road. Um, the sun is beginning to set. The MI six man, MI five. MI six. Turns around. Uh, he has also uh, says, well, we're here. Out we go. Last hope for a good night. At the very least for him. Pointing at the other. Okay. I'll, I'll head the, everyone make an intuition check as you guys head to the location for the all night watch and splitting up. 97. 27. 41. 25. Okay. Mostly, I guess, eyes McGee over there. It's because he has bigger eyes. Like I'm taller. Yeah, looking over everyone. <laughs> Ahead, the path across the moor widens, and a silver moonlight exposes the once might have been a small cottage. Or might have. The roof hardly exists anymore. Moonlight floods the interior, the walls lean inward, and not a silver sliver of glass remains in the windows. Three short steps lead to a gaping entrance, which has no door. Inside the one-room cottage, debris covers most of the floor. Two chairs face the house over the, the estate house. Morcrest estate. The man wearing a trench coat and a hat sits in one chair. He looks up. Well, it's about time, Banks. The man whispers mockingly. But it looks like you've brought more than your fair share of help, too. Nothing new to report except that our spy has been laying out steel traps all night long. So you best watch your step. He's back inside the manor now, but the lights are still on beneath the uh, blackout curtains. The man stands up, mumbles, and he leaves. Well, I suppose I've done my bloody part for country. Now, it's your turn. If he really is a spy, he's probably already called the Luftwaffe to bomb while we're just sitting here, just so he can get up with his business. Oh well, carry on chaps as he walks out the front door. You guys set in. Um, Banks says, see ya, Bell. Um, that's Colin Bell, he points out. And then after about a minute, you hear the car driving away. He taking, he's taking the car. So now you're stuck here. What time is it? Nine. Okay, we can at least Break time. Set up. Yeah, probably a good time. We eat. As you guys can then decide before we start, do you guys want to scout the areas? Do you want to just wait, or what are your plans? See what's going on. Do you want to run out and see how many traps you can set up? It's a game. Run from here, slap the house, and run back. And the okay. one that makes it wins. 
Not you know what would suck for you three? I'd win. Except for, she's like, ports to there. Texas will have ports back. <laughs> no, nope. no portals allowed. No, that's after you already got there. Then you're like, oh shit, now I gotta get back. <laughs> oh, I'm ready to get back now. <laughs> We'll come back to starting at the scary cabin. Break time. Kitty, kitty. She's ready to go. Uh, uh, side, one in the back. Could even more be more. <laughs> but we'll just have to start telling people off at the beginning. Oh, I know he's going to pull the eye first. We'll you. see. Yeah. Depends. You're the one that's somebody, a vampire is scratching at the glass, and you let him in and, and cuddle up with him. So, you know, you'd be like, oh, there's a noise downstairs. And then that's like, I'll go check it out. I want to go see it. I'll go check it out alone. I would see it. Becky, did you dress up? I don't have a costume. I'm going to be wearing my headband. My Naruto headband. I found one I wanted to wear, but I can't afford it. Okay, that sounds cool. And be like a female. Vision. I'm not going to dress up like a, a five foot, or, well, four foot. Nine female that's 120 pounds. That's Amber Rose. That's all I'll just tell you. That. Damn it! I know I shouldn't talk about it, but it's just funny. She's talking about being in costume. For Halloween. Oh, I thought you were talking your character. Nope. I was thinking that'd be cool. But I don't want to do the, the dress as the drag. I can't pass off as that. You can like talk like a guy, but I can't do a girl too well. <laughs> I'm guilty. I'm the bad one. Fucking really? Really? Bentley, you're dying first. No, I can't. Yes, you can. <laughs> what if I kill all the other girls in the team first? There's only two of us can survive. <laughs> Uh, 
Now I gotta make a whole new character. No. <laughs> I will probably um, by the morning. Before we start then also, hmm. we're gonna have each of you go one at a time with her. And we gotta look for a picture that kinda looks like your character with a light background so we don't wanna waste too much ink. Okay. Um, but find pictures, like comic book style pictures, like black and white or something like that. Okay. And then everyone can have kind of a look for their character, so. Okay. But unless you find something like your character first, then we can just go off that. I haven't been looking, so I slacked But on that one. we all can't sit down and listen to what everyone has when looking about their characters. Like we talk I about the printing characters. I, I got mine. I can't do my costume. I'm sorry. I was upset. I've seen other people do that, especially at cons. There's one, what is it? What's that one site we watch sometimes, you remember? EXO. Can I look too? Touch it. Oh, well, that's not gaming with us Friday. What? On Friday? Okay. But I will be here on Thursday. Okay. Oh, 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 you'll be all right for her game, but not mine. I became number two real quick. I just want family. Mine. You all right? I don't have shrimpy here. Hey! Um. Yes. Yeah. You're now, you're Dick Beavis now. I'm trying to think what might help it. I don't have any olive juice. Tea? I have aloe. I don't like your aloe. I'm fine. Cool. It makes you look cool, Because Mal took the gate down. I think that was cool that she did that. They wanted to be able to see it. And it has been confirmed they are going to be full-time. But I'm not sure if I want to watch it. Did you see the picture? I know. I don't know how they're going to do Carlos. Time's up! Show my back. Yeah, we have Carlos, like, off We're not talking about shows. We're not advertising for other people. Oh. Oh. The Gwyneth will get her treats. She's got some right down She's here. got some there. I think she just didn't want to deal with the cold. And I cut her short last time. I feel bad. Oh, wow. I see people. Did you have butt sex or something? <laughs> no. Let me on. There you go. Enjoy. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh, the stalker had suckers. They're sour. It's only good ones. But I can't eat suckers. They're just weird for them. Ever since my piercing is gone, I used to have piercing. And I could eat suckers, so now when I put candy there, it feels weird on that location where the piercing was. It actually feels weird just touching it, I just realized again. You had your tongue pierced? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I always wanted to do that, but I'm scared. Hey, the bad thing about it, mm -hmm. I lost two or three teeth due to it. Just bite down wrong. That's why it's I not worth the loss of teeth. Okay. I want to get my snake bites back. We're back. And the question is, what do you guys have plans to do during this observation? Hmm? You start busting traps? Mm -hmm. Actually, no, I'm just going to go sit outside the uh, cabin in the room. Okay. Watch. Dick. Set up traps. Oh, I was Surprise. about to say that. I'm going to grab rock and throw them at the traps. <laughs> <laughs> 
games. Grounded, it's, grounded. It's all fun and games until someone loses their hand. You guys want to go play laps or traps? It's an agility roll. Yeah. Huh? I was kidding. Okay. <laughs> You're like, no, I don't want to go out there. <laughs> yeah, she wants. <laughs> I get caught in a trap. Lose an arm or a leg. Because <laughs> I was the drunk girl putting the traps. <laughs> Good, uh, 52. <laughs> 52 on a good, a green. Oh, barely. She survives it this time. <laughs> She probably decided this wasn't as fun a thing to do as she thought. So it's kind of scary. Oh, good. We'll get a cold one. Everyone do an intuition check. 95. Mm -hmm. Ought to. 80. 33. Okay. Uh, ought to what? I got an ought to. Yeah, what'd you get? 80. 80. Okay, and yours is too low, I think. 33. So she's good? Yeah, too low. I got a red. Okay. Doo -dee -doo. Um, Cabin definitely, as it gets later in the evening, starts. you start to realize it's, it, it's definitely been here for a while. It's a little stinky on the inside, especially with your monstrous situation. Big old nose snorting up. Some kind of rotting animal smell nearby. The whole place is disgusting. What do you do? Why do you end up sitting outside? You're sitting outside, you're like, it stinks in here. Okay. Die 10 for everyone. Four. One. Two. Ten. This time it's so low. You see a wolf out there wandering along the edge of the farm. Mythic wolf! Don't be screaming. <laughs> There's a wolf out here. She stays inside. So I don't know him. Can I walk up to her? Put my hand over her mouth and take her back inside. Sure. We're trying to be sneaky, although you're sitting outside is very sneaky. Maybe he's closer than I think. Maybe you're not as big from here. He's just like sitting halfway between here and the cabin. <laughs> it's a foreshadowing thing. <laughs> he looks normal. but like one round away from the sound of someone's scream. Uh, intuition checks. Oh no, reason checks. Sorry, reason check. We're out so sure can you tell what the sound is? 97. 17. No, it's 87. Eight, seven. Still at least it's a yellow. Yeah, yeah. 17 didn't make it. You heard a scream. You heard Banks scream from behind the cabin. You're the first, like the closest ones to hear it. Just gonna run over. Head that way. Agility check. I'll go in and tell Rampage and Mr. Cool. Agility check. You guys split the That there was a scream outside. I am outside. You're out in the front porch. 
but yeah. <laughs> you heard it too, it just takes you longer to get there. I told Miss Poole. Oh yeah, fully accept another. Okay, then you I guess sit there in the cabin. That's why you didn't go. You what? what? You got 38. But it looks like a 78. Oh, I understand. It's a 38. 38! No! No! Oh, wait, 38 on excellent? How about a fuck no? Okay. You trip over a boxway, you go around the corner, fall down. Agility uh, check, or, uh, and. Oh, God. Oh, you're fine. What, how bad was it? It was a. Make another Jillian check to dodge the damage. 13. Off his deck. Off his what? What is it? What did you have him roll on? Agility or endurance? Agil agility. Off of a good. Good. So it's white. We're going to have you take six points damage. Because you landed on a rake. Ow. Stuck you a little bit. And you notice laying on the ground is Banks. Yep. Dead. Yes. Fuck. His throat's been ripped out. Well, I'm I'm trying to get off the ground, so Okay. I don't, I don't you get know. up. Um make an intuition check. Eighteen. White. You didn't see anything. He's just dead. So I'm just gonna ask for help. Okay. You hear Skidwalker yell for help now. I go over to him. Okay. You sit in the house. Right? I'll go help my brother. Okay. I'm gonna go to the house. Ow. Does whole Peter Griffin thing there in the backyard holding his knee? Oh. <laughs> God. I got to do it one. Ah. 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 What do you guys do? It's a dead banks. He looks beyond like saving. You don't have to worry about medical. I'm going to see if I could pick up the scent of what killed him and track it. Roll. Hunter. Hunter. Um. You track it back to the cabin. It smells strongly of the cabin. Make an intuition check. 94. Okay. As you're looking around the cabin, it leads you to a trap door in the cabin. To some kind of area underneath the cabin. I go in. Go down there. Yep. Oh. Trap door opens easily, flooding the chamber below with a silver moonlight. The room is quite small, and a stepladder leads down. The area once served as a root cellar, or perhaps it was a hiding place. Maybe it once served as a sleeping room, judging by the mound of now stinking pelts on the dirt floor. Whatever the purpose of this room, not more than two people could fit comfortably in this room for a very long time. Make intuition roll person down there in the basement. Really having to duck. Hunter. Um, it smells like those pelts. Like whoever was here being close to these pelts. Maybe sleeping here. Uh. I'm gonna find a place to hide and just settle in and wait. Okay. 
But what about the rest? Do ya? Well, I'm gonna see if I can uh, walk out, out of the uh, the cabin there and you were never in the cabin. get a week you were outside. Come back. Get a week. But by then, you get away from the cabin. Yeah. Okay. How about you? Stay closer to the Metro property, or just like along the edge of wood? She's gonna be just a little out of the area, so. Okay. I'm gonna hold on. Okay. I'm pointing in the traps again. <laughs> you go play with the traps. Roll. She's out there with a stick, stabbing traps. You guys might not like it, but I'm about to call you guys out. Pussy, pussy, pussy. No, I'm staying close if you need anything. You said you're going out of the area. I'm away from the cabin. Yeah. I'm underneath the cabin where these pelts are. I'm going to let them, whoever it is, come I back. thought maybe it was just that they were too stinky. Let's send Shrimpy down the rampage. Yeah, and then she'll get thrown out of there because she likes to be in the way of shit okay. and start shit before I could even get things done. Done. Oh wait, it's not only Luna, it's also Skinwalker. Who's outside poking the trap with a stick? You guys hear two shotgun blasts from Metzer's place. Should we go check that out, bro? If we could get there. You just have to run across the field. It's only like 300 yards from here. Can we go back it? You uh, become animals and run quicker. Yeah? Yeah. And get shot. Or hit a trap. Now, if you make intuition rolls, you could like probably safely walk I through or around. Okay. I'm having to respond to the cats. Uh, 87. 52. Are you both wolves? Yeah. Okay. I just came up with a really good idea. Okay. Um. You heading that way? Um. Uh, you two, they're out in the field. Make an intuition roll. Intuition. Yeah. I guess if you roll a red, I'll give it to you because you're outside. Maybe. Fourteen. Seventy-nine. What'd you get? Forty-five? Ninety-five. Ninety five. You're good. Um, <coughs> something moved like past the old man Metzer who came out on the porch and he fired at something. It just like zoomed by him really quick and into the darkness. You saw basically across the uh, porch light for a second. But it was too quick. He yeah, has Speedy Ghost. Speedy Gonzales. You guys heading on? He, uh. He goes, Shoo! And fires to get up in the air. Get out of here! Yelling at you two, the dogs. Don't you know there's traps everywhere? Apparently not trying to actually trap wolves. Just showing you until you guys get away. Uh, I'll change back into human. Okay. We yeah. probably shouldn't do it when he's standing on the porch. You want to get shot? That's true. <laughs> We're going to have to go hide somewhere to change. Yeah. If she starts to change, she tackles you. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. Yeah, I punched on him. Told him no. Don't do that. Don't be a dumbass. Okay. Get out of here. He goes in and closes you. the door. Hmm? He goes inside and closes the door after issuing his warning to you guys. Might as well head back. Yeah. Okay. You sit there in the basement. I just came up with an idea. Okay. That thing that killed Banks. 
smells like these pelts, right? Yes. I could cover myself in these pelts. Okay. Lure it to me. Use the ammo that I have on me. Kill the thing. Okay. So you would like smell too much like it smells. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. So, <clears throat> you guys all come back to the house and he's rolling around in the pelts, putting them on. They don't even know where I'm at. You're in the basement. They know you're in the basement. <laughs> you're kind of creeping him out. I'm going to go hide in the basement. Kind of like the thing with Evil Dead. Ah! Let me out! You're like, you're not chained in. <laughs> Grabs people's ankles as they walk by the trap door. Drags them in. Oh! God. Who's first to walk in? That's the trap Die 10. I is first. Everybody to roll. roll die 10. Yep. 10. Zero, zero. zero. Blue. 10 and 10. Those two go walking in the same time. I grab her ankle. Okay. <laughs> and I make a growling noise. Make a psych check. We psyched out. <laughs> Oops, 31. Excellent. Nope. Is you all white or green? White. White. She screams. You something like horrible has just grabbed your leg. I'm trying to drag you in the basement. Oh, it's going, like, pounding on the hand! Make a fighting roll. <laughs> I don't know what it is. You. 39, markable. I'm going to start shaking it. 39 hits. Roll a die 10. 9. 13 points of damage. <laughs> I'm going to pick her up and... How hard? Um, I only have 60 health. Uh, what would that put her as? 60 health? Yeah. Um, that would be amazing. It would be almost, if it would do hello, it could kill her. Um, or knock her out. I'm going to use excellent. Excellent. Roll X plenty. <laughs> The worst oh, encounter of the yeah. day will be your friend, will be your family. Nineteen. So you take remarkable, you said, or excellent, excellent. Excellent. Twenty-nine points damage. But she goes up and then slams into the ground. And I'm gonna let go. And it goes back into the basement. Like, <laughs> come, 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 A knock at the door. <laughs> I had in the basement. Somebody answer. Oh, Somebody no. answer! I'm going to answer it. Okay. Hannah Metzer is there. Oh, shit. Um, I was informed that the officer that was watching me had died. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The one that attacked at my house told me. He taunted me with it. Okay. Maybe I should explain it to you. Comes in and closes the door. No. Maybe we shouldn't. Fuck it, I'm gonna come up. Okay. This place smells like the den of a loop guru. Yeah. Downstairs in the basement. Oh. I what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to lure it to me so I can kill it. I have special ammo to kill it with. Okay, what do you have? I show him. You open up the, the handkerchief thing? Yeah. Oh and by the way, Luna, that was me. Seriously! <laughs> what? You should have looked 
now. Inside the small cloth, cloth bag, you find half a dozen bulbs of garlic, can't crush. Sear case contains 18 silver bullets engraved on the inside of the case along with the initials AJM on the case. That's what's there. Who wants them? So you have bullets and garlic. I have them both. Oh, well then hopefully it's one of the few methods of how to... I have much, uh, but I, I should tell you, I guess, maybe you could help me. He sits down, especially since he's alone and he already looks like he's, actually looks like he's been uh, beat up pretty bad. Um, many years ago, back in the 15th century, one of my ancestors, Heinrich Meltzer, was a baron. It is told that a young boy was bitten to death by a wolf, or so everyone thought. Baron Metzer, being a good man that he was, ordered that all wolves in the region be destroyed on sight, and he offered bounties for each wolf pelt brought to his castle. He wanted to make the barony safe for all his subjects. Well wolf that attacked the young boy had not been a wolf at all. It was a mad dog. But too late. The damage was done. All the wolves of the barony had been killed. All but one, that is. The great wolf. The one that could not be killed and sought revenge for his dead brothers. This creature would follow our family everywhere and torture our minds. When they were finally crazy, he would kill them. I am the last of the Metzers. I came here from Germany to escape, but alas, I think the beast has followed. He is taunting me, waiting for me to go mad when he can finally finish me off and the entire Metzer family. Kind of looks a little like, <coughs> a little happier now that he's mentioned it. He's had to keep it to himself. His family died a lot when he was younger. Most of the members. Dude, I know how you feel. I lost my parents. I was 12. So you've heard that the silver bullet thing would work? That's what the agent told me. Ah. That's one of the two different methods I've heard, but I wasn't sure. What's the other method? Skinning it alive and insulting its fur. It's, I should mention, Hollywood created the concept with Wolfman of werewolves being contagious. It didn't exist in any bit of literature before then, so. Um, and Wolfman, I don't think he's even come out yet. So. Well, do I smell enough like it? I guess. Uh, from what I, what's all over the front porch of my house, and well, he stepped on the nail boards. If you wish to go see, yep. This is a. I'm glad you've come. Um. I did the right thing. I, I came here to good people, to you guys. So, and he heads back, with you guys following him to his place. I'm like. I'm sorry, but I set off a few of your traps. That's all right. Um, did they hurt you? No, this is nothing out with them. I saw a couple still around. I thought they'd all gotten eliminated. That's not really the wolves I'm worried about. If you're talking about the two wolves that went up to your house during the uh, yes. shotgun blast, mm -hmm. it was these two. Are they? No, they're Luke not. Galoo? No, they're not. This is Skinwalker, this is Mystic Wolf. Actually, I should say Rougarou. Actually, no, Devin. You were right. Luke Garou. I think Luke Garou was nope. in America more. Nope. nope. Okay. Rougarou is in America. Luke Garou. Is he, okay, so it's the other way around? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> um, I looked it up. It is a uh, full moon tonight, so he thinks, unless he expects you guys already, that um, I should be alone because he'd gotten rid of the officer that was 
spying on me. They were watching me. One thing about me is I heal quickly. If he tries to attack me, I can heal instantly. Oh. Um, I shot him three times. I think he's healed by now, too. This is not the first time I've gone oh. down with him. Do you have a gun that I could use for, this, for these silver bullets? Oh. Possibly. He goes into his hunting room. There's a bunch of guns. Me find something for it. <laughs> Finds a couple of them. So there's two guns. Yeah, how many bullets do you have? Eight. Eight. So that's six apiece. So twelve. Or no, you say you have eight bullets? So four apiece. Two people get guns with silver bullets. Four bullets apiece. Who gets the guns? Nope. They don't trust me with guns. <laughs> I only know they don't trust me with guns, so I'm not getting it. Okay. Them. I was gonna go. Those two? You both get guns with four bullets. Awesome. <laughs> I hope you can hold the garlic. <laughs> if you really want to if you really want to Oh, and that only works on vampires. <laughs> I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. <laughs> Skinwalkers over there singing or whistling. No, oh, I'm gonna fart in your general direction. As Rampage lets a big old growling fart out. So there's a response from outside. No, just <laughs> you do hear a wolf outside though. I'm trying to get out of my brain. Okay, should I stop you now? There you go. I thank you. I can feel it coming. Oh, sounds exciting. Just be glad you don't have my migraines. Hey. How are you? I'll sit outside and wait for him. Okay. Hey, I choose the drawer. I'll sit with me. I'm usually the one who gets that. And you two get guns, which are hard to use if you're a wolf. Yeah, you guys can't change into anything. Now you're, you're just people with guns. Yeah, thanks. I don't know. She's afraid to change into a wolf most of the time. She's afraid someone's going to shoot her. I already had been shot once. Yeah. You guys protect him if uh, if I can't take this thing down. Okay. Well, I got balance with guns, so. What kind of, like, controls are you guys? <laughs> Y'all are shapeshifters, not like controls. Oh, like from the Americans. Yep. Do you guys naturally fight? Why am I answering the, questions for you The Rougarous. I'm sitting outside waiting for this fucking thing to show up. Intuition check. 81. 81? Suddenly, you get scratches, it comes jumping, flying through the air like 40 feet, lands near you and slashes you for 36 points damage. I'm going to punch it. Do it. <clears throat> Hunter. Hunter. Guy 20. 20. I'm using all of my strength. Okay. You punch it. You roll one on die 20? 20. 20. Okay. So that would be 85. Hit it pretty hard. You hear some bones break. Ouch. And it's off again. It's heading like around the corner of the cabin. I'm gonna follow it. Make a dex roll. And I'm gonna alert these guys. Okay. 98. Okay. Second round, you heal how many points? Five? 
Yep. Take back five. Done. That's full. Cool. Odd four. Missed. Totally. As he attempts to jump reach from the roof, reaching down to scratch you. You jump up at it? Yep. Okay, go. 91. Okay. She's full. Damage. 19. Okay. And another one. You hit him again. Looks like he's healed some from the first shot. Like, he felt like he broke his, uh, his arm, but he, 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 it's all right now. Does someone go for the fucking head? And he is going to jump. Not if I have a hold of him. Wrong one. You grab him? Yeah. Well, I guess we should stop right there and do an initiative. We should do... 24. Um... <laughs> Okay, 24 for ramp. And then me. <laughs> Everyone should get theirs. Die 20 rolls. Fox. Or not Fox. Um, wrong game. Skin. Nine. Ten. Luna. I got 17 with mine. And Wolf. 22, 13, skin. 10. 10. Me! Me! Oh, that sucks. I have a nice bonus of plus 4, and I still end up on the bottom of the pile. Rampage. He's up on the roof of the house. He's attempting. You're first. He, he looks like he's getting ready to jump. I'm going to slap him onto the ground. You grab him? Keep a hold of him. A grab is your strength <laughs> roll. A monstrous. 91. Which is a red. Yep. So you have him grab and he gets applied damage. Roll by 20. 19. Nineteen. Okay. Got him again. Get the dice, please quit rolling. My anxiety is hitting the fucking roof. Sorry. Okay. You haven't grabbed. He is going to half to attack you. Oh. He's not very good at this. He missed. No, a 12. 12 doesn't do it. So, that's the initial combat. That's not exactly the same. Wolf, head that way, or what do you want to do? I am going to head. Luna? Heading that way. Okay. Um, we'll see next round. It's not that big of a place. Me again. Yes, it is. Um, he's uh, rapidly just flopping about, you know, like Steve Smith going bananas. <laughs> I'm going to slow him back on the ground again. Okay. Um, let's do that as a strength attack. 100. Okay. So roll that 20. 20. Okay. Um, you slam into the ground, a lot of blood, a lot of bones breaking, but he's getting up again. He looks very upset, angry even. I need someone here to shoot him. I only two have done. Five points for you, heal. Finally. 35 points. Raw damage. Let's 
So, next one there is Wolf. You come around the corner and um, sitting there on the ground and being held by uh, in a big body hug by, you can barely even see the person or thing. I'm going to shoot it. Well, make a yellow roll because the rampage is bigger. What does she have to roll on? It's agility. Edge. Agility no. is excellent. Shooting agility roll. <coughs> so you could add up you to need 20. Yellow. Yes. I'm going to add. Uh, fuck. Let's roll. 24. Roll a die 10. Me? No, her. Nine. Okay, you take 13 points damage. And that's one snow roll. That was my ass! <laughs> Sorry! I wasn't, wasn't your cousin doing it. That's why you don't have a gun. Okay, next to go is Luna. I'm going to try... Don't lose any magic because it will negate my powers! I'm going to try using the sound generator to kind of like... Just orientate it? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Didn't make it 17. Okay. Yeah, she has big ears. Ears hurt. Isn't it? Yep. Sure is. Shit. Yellow roll. What's your agility? My agility is good. I got a 38. Oh, you rolled that 10. That's eight. Die ten. Eight. Oh, ten. Zero. Zero. So that's ten. Mm -hmm. Plus fourteen points damage. Four right now. You guys stop shooting my. That's it. I'm just gonna start trying to rip its fucking skin off. Okay. Roll. Starting at the fucking mouth. Okay. I don't care if it bites me. Stop shooting my cousin. We didn't and do. Let's oh, see, it's on a strength roll, right? Devin. Yeah? That's a strength roll, right? Yeah. I'm going to add 75 points to it. Okay? Fuck yeah. 165. Wow. Okay. You, you rip out a huge chunk of hair. Bleeding underneath, well, like half skin, half hair. Ah. Exactly. What I said. <laughs> and he's like, ow, 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 ow. He's very like, oh, 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 oh. He's just like ripping the hair off him. That's a weird fighting technique. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> he tries to get away. I still have a hold of the motherfucker. Make a strength oh, roll. Oh, 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 oh. Make a strength roll. You're going to make it happen. 92! Okay. Give it a very bad day. Suddenly, you have it. It's fur, at least. Give me some fucking salt! Metzger comes out with a bag of salt. Dump it on it. Apparently he turned the smoke and disappeared. Dump the salt on it? Okay. Now we just need to get it back into his his uh, den. I'll show you the way. Okay. So you go back and shakes it free of all the loose salt. Throws it in there. It says, and this time when he puts it on, it will melt into his skin. The salt between the skin. See, so he puts on the magic fur. 
just assures me what kind he is because he was able to disappear out of it. It's magical. And he uh, he puts the fur on and it changes him into the wolf. Well, not anymore. Well, he will try it, but it's not later. And you two shot me in the fucking ass. I'm sorry. You didn't ever get guns again. Give me your guns. It's all yours. Give me your guns. Okay. Well, our Metzger's guns, anyways. Okay. And didn't have very good aim. And you go back away in the house. Yeah. Hiding. Yeah. Agility roll. See how well you hide. Big volcano size. Ninety nine. Hey. So they're piled in the corner of a bunch of crap. <laughs> Two fucking bullet holes in my ass. Time for all the sitting down. Sorry, it was an accident. <laughs> you move too much. You're holding the guy. You're twice the size of the guy you're holding. Yeah, but I was like this, and I was, I had him. I want you to shoot me. Right at I, I want you to shoot me. How please. did you guys shoot me in the ass when my ass wasn't even aimed at you? They probably shot There's the footsteps in the cabin from above. They're not in the house. Okay. Just you. Yeah. Steps go over to the door and open it. And then there's a whisp, like a wind. And then he takes form down by the bottom of the basement. It's that guy that came to your house. He's reaching through the furs, trying to find the right one. Do you, what do you do? Anything? I'm just going to sit in the way. And then he puts it on and starts to transform back into a wolf. Then his skin starts to bubble from the inside. Now I'm going to pounce on him. Okay. And crush his little bubble's head. Okay. 99. Yes, you've got a strength. Roll die 20. 19. Okay. He's still going. He's screaming and yelling. He's trying to get you, but he still takes a long time to kill these bastards. Want to keep going? Yeah. Okay. He's trying to zip off his head. Yep. <laughs> Roll. I still have one of those bullets. Somewhere. There were eight. There were three guns. You have two guns, actually, with three apiece. I'm going to shoot him in the head. Okay. Go ahead. Jilly roll. Shoots himself in the ass. I oh, hate guns! 97. Okay, roll a die 10. 10. Silver, so his endurance, which is amazing, goes to 46. So, doesn't instantly kill him, but he's flopping around on the ground, trying to heal to get up again. But I'm going to do it again. Okay. Doesn't seem the silver did any additional damage to him. You notice he's wearing that pendant that's made of silver. Apparently, these kind are immune to silver, just like it's like Punch any other bullet. I'm just gonna start punching him in the face. Just start doing it. Yep. Things only got around left because there's also some additional damage to the bubbling skin. Ninety-seven. <laughs> and that's it. Okay. Two hundred for you. Hundred for everyone else. Wow. And he's very happy. I that's bring up the body, and I drop it right in front of him. He's very happy. That means he will, he will survive. He's been worried about this his whole life. He doesn't even know what he's going to do. And, and you guys live in the manor? Well, he'll make sure he starts taking care of the gardens and everything for you. There's also three dogs up there, too. Okay. One's blind because uh, his eyes are ripped out. Oh, that's not good. Is he all right? Yeah, he's fine. He just don't like Luna. Um, intuition roll. Ninety-one. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, 
um, you just knows when you thought of that, one of the dogs was strangely absent from the room. Fuck. Oh, no. When someone was visiting. Shadow. Yeah. You didn't trust him. Why? Fane would ask him where he was. They mm. would have noticed that Shadow didn't trust him. Oh, you did it. Yay! Phone call! I answer. You're kicking everyone else that dares touch you in the way. I answer the phones around here! Um, the search for, I guess they're now called, it was a statue for the Amulet of Pazuzu, which is on the statue, whether after continues as a hero's journey to Paris to meet with the French resistance. Party ventures deep into the Paris catacombs, supposedly, for the relics, and meet with other troubles. First of all, you're flying a plane. No! Yay! Your plane or We're going to or another plane? Make a pet roll. We got. Yeah, can't we take someone else? Did you write the hundred dollars? Yeah. Yeah. Work. Work. Come on. Nope. Twenty-seven. And we crash. And a burning ball of death. Because Mystic couldn't roll a damn control roll. Well, since it's heading, <coughs> you haven't got off the plant ground yet, so she's got to swoop around. I guess the uh, runway's kind of been blown up by people. You want to try again? Yes. You got to go meet Peggy. She's going to be upset that you're late. No, I will not let that happen. 83! Okay, you're flying in the air. Everyone make an intuition check. We're gonna die. 91. 81. 50. 100. Three. You still have to roll. Okay. Your window look good, don't you? Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> Hopefully you're... Hot no, seven. seven! She can't find the window. She's got more clothes. It's the gauges that matter! The window's live! You need your window! Okay. Three planes fly by really close. The other is opposite direction. In the opposite direction? From the opposite direction. They're coming towards us? They just went by. Oh, good. I have to have skin shoot my guns. <laughs> Skinwalker's in the back. He is allowed to touch my guns. This one <laughs> isn't. I'm too big. <laughs> Um, the planes turn around and start coming back. Get ready to shoot, bro! They are German planes. Nazis! Three fighters. Shoot them. Alright. Are you okay? No. You sit quietly. Do Go I, ahead. Is there any dynamite on this What's plane? What's your agility? Uh, my agility? Ooh, dynamite on my plane. Good. There's, um, no, the bombs had to be taken out because yeah. of space for you guys to live there. Is there any dynamite? No. No sticks of dynamite? No, why would there be sticks of dynamite? I could light them. You're not a miner. I could light them and toss them. Go the get something. Yeah, there used to be bombs in here, too. We will buy some. They had to fight to get the that guns back on. I the need to buy some fucking grenades. She's like, oh, I need things to throw at people. You throw a rock at a plane and probably do some damage. I think I have a rock in the wrench. Pine cones! Sorry, but I'm still your wrenches! Go ahead. If we open up the tool cab and just start throwing. You got a wrench in the works? Oh, I can buy you. What's rolling die 20? Or percentage dice, I mean? I think he did. At the plane? Did you roll an attack for your agility? 23. You missed. Okay. Anyone else doing anything? Oh, I'm gonna throw a big old wrench at, at one of them. Hey, okay, roll. Jody, check. She 91. She felt it under her seat. Oh, 
Oh, no, 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 it's dead. The plane starts spinning out and going down. Nice job. I'm gonna find another wrench and throw it. <laughs> Good job, ramp. 41. It's not the plane. No portals okay. allowed on my plane. One imagine, time. The plane is, what's your plane's body? My plane's body. Or protection, first of all. It is good. So you take seven points damage. Yeah, they, they shoot your plane. Well, the other one missed. Both of them tried to shoot. One went down. The two are starting yeah. to spin around. Hanging out the side of the plane, throwing things at <laughs> other planes. Donkey Kong! Hey! I'm going to grab another wrench. are coming around. You both want to try to fire at it? I'm going to grab another wrench. Um, I'm going to see if I can... Wait, try and just throw better. Maybe I can't. Uh, I'm not shooting anything. Okay. We don't have any guns. So. There was yeah, we do. That's what you've been shooting every single time. Okay, guns. We have guns. Yes, the there's plane. guns. There's no bombs. So that's why I bomb. put you in charge of them. Okay. Yes. I'll try and get another shot. He's out. like, well, what am I supposed to shoot him with? How about that nope. gun you're sitting at? Nope. You got ten. Shut down an American plane. No. <laughs> And you're Wait, wrench? no, you rolled a hundred on that one. Yeah. Okay. Give me that fucking look. Um, I, uh, yeah. Roll a die 20, yes. ass. 11. Okay, you shot one down. How about your What's wrench wrong? throw? Headache. Wrench throw. I don't know if there's enough here to get. You want 20. this? It's got near to nothing. Ten. No, no, no. Yes. She's almost out. Give me. Okay. Um. One goes down. Which one goes down? Hundred. And we're like twenty. Okay, it goes down. <laughs> now you need to make a control <laughs> roll to land. Warm. You want to land the plane or just crash it and get it over? I'm gonna land it. Okay. Roll, roll. control roll. They have a field for you, and they're gonna hide the plane. Be a Fifty-eight. Eight. Fifty-eight. Okay. You land. Yes. I'll get you two new wrenches. Okay. Um. You're met by a jeep quickly that came by. This is for you guys to get in. They'll take you to um, the hotel. Le Relais Saint Germain. Ooh, sounds fancy. It's like a few blocks walking distance from both Notre Dame and the Catacombs de Paris. Um, Sam contacted the French Resistance and set up a meeting with a local cafe and some members of the group. The heroes meet with the French Resistance members and are surprised to see Peggy Carter. Is anybody gonna have coffee? As their yes. point man. It's right there. It's getting cold. It, it's better that way. Well, eh. Coffee is never good. What? You're crazy. I mean... Did you give her the look? Hot coffee. Cold. Cold. I drink cold. I drink iced coffee. I know. Iced coffee is good. Because that's the only way I can drink it. Without my stomach going... Cartwheel real hot. Hi everyone. Your brother's trying to help me. Uh, <laughs> trying to hit on Rampage? Yeah. I don't think he can handle it. Well he's a shape. I don't I don't think he can stretch that far. Maybe he could be a girl. I just thought of a Naruto move. <laughs> from the resistance, Jack Dremier and Napoleon Sack are seated at a large table in the back of the room at the cafe, big enough to accommodate your encounter. Peggy and the resistance know the catacombs well, 
and have been used in the area beneath Notre Dame as a base of operation. Catacombs are vast, however, and are filled with twists and turns. And even they have never explored areas. Finding mention of the Knights Templar having hid there, Jacques perks up. His family is intricately tied to the Knights Templar. His great grandfather was involved in the construction of the tunnels and was rumored to have been a secret Templar knight carrying on during the time that the catacombs existed. It's haunted. <laughs> it's a ghost. The ghost is lifting it up. That's the catacombs. <laughs> wow. There's a lot to it. There's a lot to explore. This catacomb has scared the poop out of her. I want to poop that out. Uh, you'll be arriving at the catacombs at a spot known as the Gates of Hell. Um, you guys, though, before then, should probably discuss what you need to do. Um, Jacques Denier, tall guy, skinny, looks typical French, Napoleon Sack. He's a short guy. You know, they both have the little mustaches and the, the hats. Very typical looking the way they describe them. Um, they both carry 45 caliber Thompson machine guns. Submachine guns, actually. Colt, 45 caliber Colt, and grenades. You guys need some grenades. Napoleon has grenades. Rampage wanted some. Yes. Couple we'll of boxes. They're probably not a good idea down in the catacombs, though. Half the reason the place was built to help support the strength because the city was trying to collapse on us. <laughs> Some dirty Frenchmen. There's two Frenchmen here. Were you looking for Frenchmen, Napoleon Velasco? No. Just one of the There's a girl. And she's she's, supposed to. she's been hanging with you guys for so goddamn long. She's talking. <laughs> she's looking at the, the damn dogs outside. She's Shadow a dog. was my friend. That's, He's still around. That's my sister. <laughs> What's <laughs> going on? Napoleon wants to know, do you guys... Need some grenades, but you'll be underground, so you probably shouldn't use them. Rampage wanted grenades. You might want to give them to... Maybe for some other mission. Okay, see this map? There are one, two, three, four, five different places we could enter. There's stars on there. Okay. Someone should. Oh, you can wait if you want until, you know, who comes back. And then take that orange highlighter and mark it. Right there. Circle it. I can print more of those maps out all day long right until I run out of ink. Yeah. Mm. And I can get you more ink. There's one right here. Yep, there's one there. 
Those are manhole covers. Okay. There are more, but they're too public. These are spots that we can get in without being seen. Some of you, and also big enough Please. for the large <laughs> fellow to get That's in. That's rampage. Well, it doesn't matter. He, we just need to fit him in through the hole. We don't want to get stuck. Yeah, we don't need to. There's yeah, bad don't stories about being shoulders. stuck down there. Stuck halfway through. I don't want to feel like a Pixar land. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys descend dark, down into the dark catacombs, everyone make a psych roll. Okay. I'm trying to go with you. Ooh. Whoa. I think the worm's kicking. <laughs> I just <laughs> felt myself sway. Is this, is this uh, like tequila? Nope, oh, the worm! 86? <laughs> 99! 63. Think you're all doing all right now the plan is also do you guys all stay as one mass because you have to walk through most of the passages single file or do you guys split up you may at most split probably into three groups unless you want to go so here's peggy excuse me um napoleon not dynamite. <laughs> he sucks. <Yeah>. And <laughs> oh, um, Jacques. Ooh, Jacques. I'm gonna go with Napoleon. Jacques. Jacques. His family are the ones that uh, actually have some uh, Templars in the States. They'll tell you his tales about them if you wish to walk with him. I will, go with, I will gladly go with the Jacques. I will okay. go with Napoleon. Well, then we yeah, just you can go with the other shorty. Because <laughs> I don't know if you're the Napoleon. What now? We're talking about who we're going to go with. Because we, we can split up the like, groups. I'm saying I want to go with Napoleon because I don't feel a short Peggy, around him. Napoleon or Jacques? Yeah, Luna just wants to get in Napoleon's pants. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> yep. She's of legal age in this country. I don't know, maybe you could ch make her more mature than she is. <laughs> I'm only 17! It's doing well in two nights. That's still legal. No! Hop on the good foot and do the bad thing. No! Come on now. Who else, or what, is the plan, or do you not split up at all? Well, how big are these first catacombs? We can only go single. How tall? Um, it's you'll tight. be tight. You can only go single file in most places, like those thinner passages. The other are open rooms. <sighs> so you gotta go single file, and you go in. There's a bunch of stars on there, five or six. You guys choose which one you're starting at, or if you split up. Who goes what group? Guess I'll be a ten. Well, these two are already chosen a Frenchman. Everybody just wants to lose opportunity. No, I don't. I don't feel sure on the point. It's short. Fuck no. Where do you want to? Just Peggy. Or you just go with one of the other two. Then you can Peggy go with one of those groups. I guess Do you me. want to go into two groups or three or one? I guess there could be a group of three. Okay. And a group and two groups of two. So what, you two going with Peggy? Yep. With the British girl? My space is getting smaller. Okay. Napoleon. I'm living. We'll go with Luna. Oh, okay, I think oh. I go. Don't use these down here, though. He hands you three. 
German style grenades. <laughs> but do not use them. The catacombs easily could collapse on us. And some of us are not tall enough to get out that easily like you. You're going to have to probably duck a lot of the time. You're crawling around. Very tight. You're not claustrophobic, are you? The reason we have so few spaces is those only spaces also large enough that we can get you in. But they're not public enough someone sees us doing it. Um, so you have group one, two, three. Basically, there's, map. there's a map. Mark down on it. Just write all over it. What circle, what star group one is starting at? Group one would be... One is you, two, and Peggy. She also has a machine gun, a pistol, and three grenades. But actually, well, she has. There's actually case. four. I think there's. Look in the corner. I think. There's four stars. Okay. I wasn't sure how many. So. One. Two. All right, so we'll go with that one. Um, basically, draw lines, you go from there to the first intersection. First intersection. Yeah, opens a room. Dun, 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 dun. You're right, right. Here we go. You're gonna die. <laughs> okay. Roll a <laughs> die ten. Who, me or him? Ah, uh, you. You're the Four. big one that everyone can't see. Are you in front or in the back? I'm in the back. Okay. Are you in the front? Or no, you're probably letting the other guy lead? Uh, yeah. Okay, so you're in the middle. Fuck it, I guess I'm in front. He's got a gun. He's one that knows where you're going. Who, She's, Peggy? Yo, Peggy, yeah, you're going to let the girl go in front? No, go forward. Okay. Don't get in the way, I don't want to have to shoot you. She said. And... Then what's your roll on die 10? Well, they're going to stay with that. Okay. Group two, which is Luna. You guys are there. Okay. Give it to her. And then have her draw a line to the nearest room. She must decide. That is so Draw a line to the nearest room. From where you let, uh, enter. This, for you. Pick one. Okay, and put a circle there so I know you're in that room. Okay, roll that ten. So you're not talking to me, huh? Two. Oh, I was just waiting until see what's going on. Okay. You. Yes. Your turn. Look at where number three is. I wrote it down. Okay. Now right line to where you're going, and then we get the fun. Roll die 10. Actually, I need to. Because I know. So, let me write down here. Two. Let's use an orange. Two is down here. By the way, you've been snapping shot me tonight. Um, yep. Wait. Just three over here? Yep. Mm -hmm. And you were over here? Yep. Okay. You went over to here. I guess you skipped that one. What one? There's a little turn you could have taken. But oh, well. 
you didn't take it. Just like any of these corners, there's another turn that could have been done. I just went to so um, yeah, it still works. You still haven't hit a room yet, but it's good enough because there's two different directions things can be going. And you rolled what you rolled. Okay. Um, we'll go another round. Hand it back to. Well, I guess whoever's in front. Whoever's in front. Whoever's in front. Okay. And choose the next location. I rolled that time. We're there. Okay, so okay. That's where we stopped. Okay. Proceed to the next area. There's some random encounters, and then there are some. Well, I drew the line all the way up there, but apparently not. So wherever you want to take us. Yeah, that's a good place to end up there. Nope, because that's a wall. Oh. So we'll just go over there. there. Did you roll that ten? Yes. Six. Okay. Give it to Lynette. Yep. Roll that 10. Three. Okay. I roll that 10 and hand it back. This guy comes around the corner up ahead. Oh, Blonde hair. Looks about six foot five. Wearing a very authoritative, nice, tight fitting leather uniform. But it has Nazi symbols. Are you locked off the way I was? <laughs> oh. Kill, 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 kill. kill. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it is. <laughs> he looks big and strong. What do you do? I don't. I can't turn into a wolf because they don't want to scare the dog. Oh, they work with the invaders sometimes. So don't worry about that. So you wouldn't freak out if I turn wolf? He assumes you're <laughs> superhuman. <laughs> Oh, you're talking personal? <laughs> She's more worried about that than actually saving the world? Wow! He's going to open fire. Priority! Wow. I'm going to turn wolf and use my claw. Okay. Um, 50. Okay, roll that 20. You have a remarkable bite. You, a woman, cannot beat the might of the master man. Ooh. 
Did you can't wait understand. for you to him? I don't think I can understand him. No, he's speaking English. He's been trained. way he's calling you with me. Ah! Shush. You're not here. Leave me alone. <laughs> Take 50 points damage. Oh. He punches you. I take it you haven't found the amulet yet. It's all right. We already have the box. Madam, so just give up. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. It's not going to turn What do you want to do? I'm going to bite him in the balls. <laughs> Go for it. It's a yellow roll. What you're fighting? <laughs> my fighting is excellent for my wolf form. Okay, you can spend up to 20 karma if you wish. You missed Bill. You need to roll a 71. Alrighty. Just... <laughs> it's better than me laugh. 33. 53. Thank you. Okay, nothing. Oh, by the way. I'm kidding. I win. Yay! <laughs> Is it cold? Do you feel cold water? I have a roller, I die. <laughs> he slams Jacques against the wall after Jacques shot him for. 21 points, so and then slapped him into the wall, <laughs> Wait, and knocked him out. For you. So he's unconscious, so he won't see anything at this point. <laughs> and he turns to you. I'm going to use my claws <laughs> again, and I'm going to claw his throat. Go. Oh, yeah, one eye open. No. 40. Forty. Um, fighting is you. excellent. Yes. I'm also deaf in this area. Wow. Wow, you missed. I'll tell you next time. I will get him next time. Whoa. Nineteen. I, like I miss you. Whoa. My turn. Yeah. This I yep. always see shoes. I'm gonna try to claw his throat again. I can really see it close. Well, are you trying to do a special like attack, or are you just get attacking? Because it makes it harder for a special attack. It's easier to hit a person than it is to hit their throat. Hmm. That's why you missed with the bite on the balls. Mm -hmm. You had to roll no. higher number. That's why you're catching me. You need a 41 to hit, or a 71 if it's special. <laughs> Just a roll higher. Oh. I was gonna see if I could. We're down in a sewer, like. Right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> could I combine <laughs> my weather control? I'm just having you to say. My wolf is so quick. Really quick. What are you gonna try to do? Want to try to throw a lightning strike into it or something? Yes. Okay. Oh, you forgot about your weather control. First, you have to watch your control. Weather control. My weather control is difficult. So, um, you're doing is mostly a fight, though. So, you go off your fighting of excellent. Yes. You make a seventy-one okay. special attack. How does a that's what 69 work. No, it doesn't! What's You're gonna be real close. It's a little dirty. 
Fifty-one points damage. Those are like dollar store readers. Mm -hmm. He's like beating you heavy. It's like being beat by Rampage. Mm -hmm. I'm still fighting strong. He says, "I am the master yeah. race." Yeah, well, I know, you're not. And you are, by definition, a mongrel. How dare you, bastard! <laughs> uh oh. I Mystic. feel a tingle in my grind. <laughs> Mystic Wolf. Yes. I'm gonna try that lightning strike again. Okay. Fifty-one. <laughs> to to no, forty-three. Okay. Mr. Wolf is out there. Can't get the timing right. I gotta get my eyes to break my glasses. Fifty-six. You down? Heels down, dog. One last hurrah. I'm gonna keep fighting. I will never go down faster. Okay. I'm going to try and bite at his throat again. Okay. Seventy one. You can add 20 karma. Is it 20? No. So do it again? Yes, yeah. you can do it every round. Do it. 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 So roll a die 10. Okay, 10. Actually, just do this. No, just she was biting him. I'm well, there's a bite, him. and then we're adding a one rank for the electricity. Or no, just bite, that's right. You just go yeah, for his throat. Yeah, just biting. So he needs a roll versus kill. Go ahead and roll damage. For like 20. Incredible. One, really? Like two. One? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I got. 21. And. Um. He resisted it. He's got a real high color. Mm -hmm. But. Um. Being to take damage again. Okay, he's still there, and fifteen. This is <laughs> yes. Thank God. That was wild. <laughs> that was good. Okay. What do you do now? Um, Against Master Man, the superior male. He says. Protect my call for a week. Well, the kid. His eye. Fill out. His person. Permanently. That's right. He had. Huh? I had to wear an eye patch. Use my claw to scratch one of his eyes. I'm going to try to go for a blinding attack. 71. Okay. Fight his eyeballs. 57. Missed. I think I hit with a normal attack. Okay. And. He charges you because he can actually fly. Hey, look, I can see him now. 55 points. He slams you into a wall. You down? My eyesight is to where, where that green thing is. It's Did you go weird. unconscious? People go unconscious, I'll take so. You had zero? Yeah. 
Okay. You go down. You guys. Make a choice, roll that 10. We'll just rotate it back and forth between you two. Just way. You all be captured soon enough. They're here. Which you, you can't tell anyone yet, but they're here looking for the same thing you are. Ten. Must be Mother Superior's. Ten? Yep. You're fine. How about you? Die ten. And then I'll look at it. Three. You rolled that ten? Yeah. Intuition check. Same with you. Because you're in the same pile. Hunter. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Die six. The one I threw over there if you want. Or your own. Six. One. Just one. are bad. I know. <laughs> Nine. You take 22 points damage as you hear a whip snap. <laughs> oh yeah? How about when you see that? Oh, come to oh. daddy, baby! Hello, <laughs> nurse! <laughs> she is warrior woman, the superior woman. <laughs> You're like all hitting on her now, huh? Ah! Yeah, We've been looking for you. We've heard about you. <laughs> really? It was cold that day. <laughs> That's not what I was talking about. <laughs> so. You know. But you uh, rolled by 20 for your initiative. The, the man. The legend is down here, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 24. You okay? And then Skinwalker, because you're in the same group. I know most of it. You're just pissed because you're down there, too. A little bit. We're coming to get 16. you. 16. We're slowly coming up to you. I'm getting you. Uh, if you look on my... The migraine pills. Oh, yeah, I think they're on the table still. That's what I saw. Okay. Um, 24 was, ro was ramp. Yep. I got 21. Skin. Got six. You don't have to get all the way up. You said, and you told me to put 20 against 16. Yep. Yeah. We'll wait till Rampage gets back. Yeah, I think he, he's trying to get a date, not fight. You're all down here thinking it's a Nazi dating service. <laughs> Kinky. She didn't like her date. Her date beat her up. Ooh, Rampage is gonna. <laughs> what? what? She whipped me. Gave me a hard on. I can't help it. You <laughs> remember the action I was doing? She looks strictly like some kind I'm of like. Sure. Dude, this <laughs> oh. Wow. Guys. I think you should leave me alone here. <laughs> she, uh... Grab you, you 
going to just leave you there alone? <laughs> you about three dozen condoms? Because I'm going to need them all. <laughs> Your size? Yes. They don't make them yet. <laughs> or at least give me some trash. <laughs> <laughs> trash. Yeah. I don't even know if they shrink wrap yet. You're screwed. <laughs> Got <Hey>. rain slick? <laughs> Maybe. Rampage is first. I'm just gonna punch the bitch in the face. Okay, go for oh it. Oh my god. If she wants to if she wants to have foreplay, I mean fuck. Come on now. Okay. Let's play. That's on my strength? Nope, that's you're fighting to punch. Alright. Hunter. You hit, roll day twenty. Nineteen. <laughs> it's almost 11 o'clock. Okay. Um. What's your old die 20 again? 19. 19. So that's 84. Okay. So, you have a girlfriend? No, my bitch. <laughs> Take 27 points damage, but the whip is around your neck now. Oh, oh you playing dirty! She's choking you. Oh, so you need an endurance it. roll. What's your endurance? She's playing dirty! My endurance is incredible. Roll. 90. So you're alright. You don't pass out yet. Dirty now. I'm gonna grab the whip and pull her towards me. Okay. Roll. On what? Excuse me, I'm just sitting and walking. <laughs> yep. Hunter. He's playing on some foreplay monsters. on there. I'm just gonna let him play. Let him play. Monstrous? Yep. She quickly went into a kick and hit you for 84 points of damage. Because you're on strength pulling her back. You're like, BAM! And she hits you. you. Take 84 points, but she's like right there. I'm gonna headbutt her. Okay, do it. Fighting. 100! Damage? 20! This is the rampage mating call. Bam. Damn. I think I got a headache. She went down. Good job, Grant. They're supposed to find you together, but they split up. <laughs> I'm gonna reach out. And go. <laughs> <laughs> you touch the butt? No, that yes. never came. <laughs> no, I'm gonna touch the boobs. Okay. I'm sitting there going. One, two, one, two, one, two. Skimwalker's like, oh, um. <laughs> should we leave and you Peggy, alone for a little bit? Is that necessary? <laughs> Why not? Well, while you're there, would you like to tie her up? Oh! Throw her rope? Yes, I'm gonna tie the bitch up! Okay. <laughs> Make a strength roll. 94. Yeah. You roll a die 10. Seven. Why do I want a dick slapper? <laughs> Hand the map around again. <laughs> the problem with that would be. <laughs> that would be basically hanging with a hand two by four. <laughs> you got which is weeks up now. You guys are just talking all this stuff you're gonna do this body. Is this normal for you guys? So this is not normal for anyone looking at her. Look at man, she's like oh, she's six and a half foot tall. Nipples strong Two. enough to cut flash. No. Oh my god. <laughs> she's the perfect woman. Rampage all of a sudden wanted to just dick slap her before he left, but he didn't. I think we're having a little too much fun right now. Who's rolling a dice six or who rolled? Okay. 
Roll that chin. How's it going? Hey, baby! Okay. Wow. And... That picture is a little bastard. <laughs> uh, you're all the way up here? You'd be... No. That... I am... You can only go so far, though. Oh, you got spun around. Okay. Yeah, I'm like... Down here. Here, here, you're doing a little circle. Oh! This color. You rolled dice six. Four. Four? <laughs> you're going in a circle. I know. I want to. <laughs> I want to try to catch as many in the rooms as I can. <laughs> Make an intuition check. <laughs> oh, 82. Wow. Come to daddy. Wow. Typical. Hello, nurse. <laughs> but it's a yellow. Okay. Oh, let's see. You're an American nurse. So oh. good. Good. pants on. His pants grew three sizes that day. He wore like ten sizes that day. <laughs> you take 11 points damage. You just got cut. He came out of like the ceiling. He dropped down on you. It's a samurai, or not a samurai, a ninja in a red uniform. <laughs> Damn, man. That's red, like, fighting and not a black. Right just red. <laughs> I'm gonna make a dark force sword and try to cut his head off. Well, you make the sword, yes. 82. Okay. Hell. Oh. <laughs> How would you like mine, though? He missed. Oh, no, my response to that. He threw a couple <laughs> shurikens <laughs> at you and missed. Oh, He's really? throwing stars at you. Hello, <laughs> What are you doing? Naruto! I'm fighting a Naruto! Uh -huh. That's the oh, crap. I just realized I have a hole in my pants. Oh, oh no! That's what, that's what, is this, are, are we still playing Rampage? No. You're like, after her, you're like, guys, apparently there's a hole in my pants. No. His penis is just sticking out there. It, it, it wanted free. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you can go change pants if you want. <laughs> well, you want to sit here until game's over? I'm going to have to. What time is it? <laughs> it's 10.46. Okay. We got you. <laughs> I'm going to try to cut his head off. You try to cut his head off? Huh? 66. On an amazing. What's your agility? Oh. Or no, oh, you're dead. You're fighting? Where it's at. Remarkable! Roll the what? 66. Um, that's a yellow. Roll. Um, uh, die 20. Is in your power remarkable? Yep. 16. 36. I'm not going to be able to get up from this table until the That's right, we'll be done soon. The day. And the camera goes off. You get hit again for 13 points as he cuts you with his sword again. One of them's out. It's okay. your turn. You can't run away. Oh, and the seven. Well, you can't run away. And. Napoleon shoots him for 18 points. Good shot, Napoleon. So he's been shot, but he's still going on. He is Karigi of the Hand. What do you do? What do you do? It's your turn. No, you like stuck it through him and he's like still going. Oh! Like a zombie. It. 
you could if you want. I could like twist it and like just Go ahead. Make a fighting roll. Ooh, eighty one <coughs> on the remarkable. Twenty. Ten. And he uh, hits you I'm dead. for sixteen points. I'm dead. No, you're unconscious. You're not dead. You're unconscious. Luna's down. Well, that was my idea on the bottom. I didn't think of that. You kind of made a portal underneath him. But we're done. What time is it? Ten forty-nine. Ten forty-nine. Oh, well, we can get <coughs> you guys get to roll a dice six. Who rolled the last one? Okay, you roll a dice six. We're gonna say the person appears closer to you this time. Six. Okay. The guy comes around the corner, moving rather slowly, and he's wearing a black leather insulated armor. Um, actually, honestly, it's like a black leather armor built. It, it kind of looked like the Michelin Tire Man. <laughs> yeah, it's like bubble. Hey, look, it's a stick. It's scraping <laughs> thick rubber. Yeah, he is. This is a. It's a World War II character. Comes around the corner. And he has a harpoon sticking out of where his hand is on one side. Oh god, it's a death soldier. I don't know if he wants to, he can announce himself as Blitzkrieg. Yeah, he's one of the death soldiers. Uh, and I need... Well, you're the first one, because like I said, a single file. You walked into the room first. He's there. You first. What do you wish? Well, first of all, roll die 20. Let's see you first. Nine. Me! Me fire my wrist can my wrist well, can at you. My wrist carpoon. <laughs> I hit you! For... I'll be trying to learn something. 26. <clears throat> And I've been wanting to learn because I'm taught German on my grap. You know that I live with? Okay, 26 German. points and when so you I got stabbed. To to and 44 points on top of that because the electricity that, that, fall, that travels down it. He fires an electrically charged harpoon with cable going back to him. He is grounded because he's in a giant rubber. He has 40 what? 44. So it's four, I'm six, seventy, and ten. Six, seventy points. Okay. He goes down. It's you. Rappy. Standing there all alone. The guy's like, ah. You and Peggy. Peggy gets her grenades. Ready. Grenades? I'm sorry to do it, but grenades. Go ahead. She moves. Yeah, she runs back. Whatever. You want to grenade it? Yeah. What roll. I roll on it? Um, you need an agility roll to hit him. Hunter. You're unconscious. I'm unconscious. Yep. And Hunter. Miss Wolf. Let's check this back in here. Um. Die twenty. Twenty. <coughs> so that's thirty. Um, 40 points, minus 10 for his armor. Still 30 points. Yep. He's coughing and he's like, uh, 19, he fired one at you, he missed. I'm gonna charge at him. Okay, go ahead. I roll my... Fighting or charge endurance. 
Okay. <clears throat> and your strength. So that ends up up cold. He goes down. I'm gonna wake him up. Okay. Make an endurance roll. Person sleeping on the ground. Forty four. Yeah, forty four. What's your endurance start at? Endurance is good. Okay, you wake up with ten points, so you get close enough. Only one more point in the action needed. You wake up with ten points. What's up we got? 10.54. Okay. Um, so it's one, two. You guys go ahead. Do you know ones now? They're bringing you guys. You are being carried by him. And she's being carried by him. Okay. 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 One. Oh, well, it doesn't matter anyway. Roll dice six. Three. I think it was the short guy. Um. This guy's actually wearing a very similar looking armor to the last guy. But he has some big fancy like glove on it. I'm just gonna charge at him. Just charge at him? Yep. Okay. Hunter. Okay, roll die 20. 20. My dice are really fucking loving me tonight. Okay. And he stabs you with that hand, which has a bunch of needles, and starts pumping stuff into your system. Make it a dirge roll. He's trying to knock you out. You feel wheezy. 96. You're all right. You're fighting it off. But he's <clears throat> injected you with something. I'm just going to use all my strength. What are you doing? Just sitting there. Me? I'm going to... Oh, you're hurt. Yeah. I'm not doing as well as I should. Is this the guy that was with me? No. Ah, that's who I think of when I think of Napoleon. That's because his name. That's a French name. No. He's built the that's same way. That's who I think of. I think he's built the same way. Here Not he Napoleon Bonaparte. There he is. Oh. That's the other guy. And there's this. There's your. your <laughs> the one that everybody's got boner. I ordered a, a bride, and look what they brought. Okay. I'm just going to use all my strength and punch him in the head. Do it. 99. And make an endurance roll. 95. Okay. Roll die 20. 20. Black leather armor isn't as good as you would think. He's out. Zon Mordor. <laughs> Just a little bit. At that point, you get hit. Take. First of all, no, make an intuition check. The guy makes a lot of noise from wandering through. 99. Okay, a guy comes behind, that was behind the guy, wears like a trench coat, looks like it's pretty much like made of black leather and steel, going all the way down to the ground, he wears a gas mask, and he's got some kind of flamethrower looking device, although it's dripping out liquid that is eating away at the concrete. I'm just going to punch him in the face too. Okay, die 20. No, it doesn't matter. 24. One. Go. 
He's gonna otherwise he's gonna spray you with acid. Hunter, this is Sod Spritz. Okay, roll die twenty. Nineteen. And he goes down. Let me get for him breaking the toys again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I walked away for a second. Okay. Doesn't play with us. And I come back out here. And he's down. You know, I actually got kicked out of school because I don't play with others, <laughs> as Rampage says. I had to be homeschooled. On my permanent record, it says do not does not play well with others. <laughs> um. They also said my psycho. Okay, the trek to the underground base is long and winding. The walls of the catacombs are a wonderful fold. The catacombs are underground ossuaries containing visible remains of more than six million people. Scun skulls and bones intricately placed in aesthetic formations along the walls of the catacomb, giving an unearthly and eerie Ghost. feeling. Everyone needs a psych roll. Not start being claustrophobic down here. 98. Not you, of course. You're sleeping. So 18. Bad. You're taking a nap. Is it the boy who's yeah. He's unconscious, too. Oh, my God! You would just leave the guy awake. Um, look at it, like all of our. I would put it a lot one, in the blue book. Really um, oh, are you bringing her, just tying her up and leaving her there, or any of these people? Just tie them up and leave them. Even the. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Peggy takes out a. I'm very needle and give them all shots to keep them down for a few hours. They'll try to have people come in. She calls in some people to come and clean the area out. Um, both of you guys make intuition checks. 97. Uh, 92. Okay. Um, what was yours? 97? You hear a voice. Here. It says over here. It feels familiar. Deep within the asylum. That's where the amulet is. Head that way? Yep. Intuition check again. 97. Okay. Um. Well. Yeah, one problem. Come around the corner. It's 11.02, by the way. Yes. We're about to hit the end of this one. will be a chapter up ahead. And up ahead is a red-clad ninja. <laughs> it's and a ninja. Master Man. I'm just gonna go in, guns oh, ablaze, and beat the shit out of them. It is you. Me and my wife are looking for you. Some say you're the strongest thing walking around. You're the stronger than the Are you talking about woman. boobs back there? The whipper? Yes. Yeah, she's down. Oh. She is only a woman. Let's go. He does the same. I'm going to charge you out of here. I'm surprised he didn't mention him. <laughs> With all my strength. <laughs> oh, I should mention, yeah. They have her and Mystic Wolf. Hunter. 
Hunter rolled a 20. <laughs> okay. Um, it's... Minus. Where'd you go? You're hiding. There you are. He's already been beaten a little bit. Staggers a bit. Trips. Off one. I'm gonna hit him again. Go. 99. Roll that 20. 19. Okay. And he goes down. And as he's going down, he says, Fools! Victory is fleeting. The Nato regime will stand tall and proud. You may have won this day, but we've already retrieved the Lamachan's box. And then the Asian voice from the guy in the uh, uniform says something. And disappears, leaving you guys there. Steps off into the shadows and just... Both of you guys making intuition checks. Hunter. 39. Okay, you could track him. Or... There's an alcove about 20 feet away where there's a skeleton wearing a necklace. I'm gonna go take the amulet. Okay. Psych roll. 99. And as you grab it, it says, keep me from them. I will. And you have it. Um, you guys will be met by Sam, General Sam. He says, could you, if you wish, put the item in this box and we'll lock it up to let, make it safe? Let me check. Okay. What do you want to check on? See if it will answer me. Yes. Roll. What do you ask? Can we put you in this box to keep you safe? Yes. Night -night. It says yes. It knows about the deal and that that was made. You killed a servant of his. But it was more worrying about itself. It was being self-preservationist, not to the source. So, you have the amulet of Pazuzu. Um, but we have some information. We think we know where we got to go next. But we also have another mission that we could use some help on. We've got to take a train to get into Russia anyways. We have also Heinrich Brühl, a um, a German soldier riding from France to Poland. Well, the problem is he's actually a British spy. We have to make sure he's safe. He's had lots of, of threats to assassinate him. And then once we get there, we can find, because that is the direction over towards Poland, the, we found out in interrogation that Zemo has the box. It was handed to Red Skull, and Red Skull gave it to Zemo, Heinrich Zemo, to find out how it works. And he went back to Poland. We will head there. There is a concentration camp there that he is running with his wife. So, there we go. That's where we leave off.
Thank you, everyone. Vote. It was good. MIB, most valuable, or MVP, most valuable. No, that's player. for Sunday. That's Sunday. <laughs> that's true. Vote, anyways. No. Subscribe, like, tell your friends. Boy, boy. Bye. See ya. Back next Friday for Hero. Sunday for your Tunnels and Trolls. Thursday for Tunnels and Trolls and Chill. Yes. Special Halloween yeah. special. Bye bye. <gasps>